not good. That's that's not for me. Uh, Welcome to Cooking with Wellington. Uh, We are here with our favorite chef. Beef Beef Wellington. (laughs) Beef Wellington. (laughs) To try out some new flavors. I don't know what Ian's doing. He's eating something and then complaining that it tastes bad, so... I ate dolce cheese and it was not a good experience. Now I'm eating uh is. Did you like get a challenge or something? Like, you know, tagged in TikTok to try this. these strange foods. This. Yeah, you're holding up your That's a that's, wedge. That's Sir Wellington is what it is. Your hand's right behind it. Looks like you're holding Sir Wellington's photo up. Here. We're eating. We're eating we're my stoned. character. That's horrifying. Well, I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. It's not. It looked good. It's not. Ooh. Happy birthday, Born Stellar! Happy birthday, Born Stellar! Happy birthday, <laughs> Born Stellar! Happy birthday to you! Yes. <laughs> So, um, we what have... are we talking about? It's it's Sir Wellington, Sir Wellington, Ramona. Not really, but <laughs> no. So no. we left off last week. Um, uh, <laughs> people gonna die. That's where we yeah, left off. Yeah. So we left off last <laughs> week with Sir Wellington revealing that he is actually a uh, raccoonicorn, which is a a raccoon that ate a dead unicorn and gained and ascended through fey magic through ascending yes um fey so he is bullshit. part fey now um which also means that what this... do you mean now he always has been well uh, before, the, the first three years of his life he wasn't um, oh well that the, I thought this, I meant like throughout this entire campaign. Ah, uh, <laughs> this uh, this also a means coon. this also means like a Pokemon. that uh, while he is six years old raccoons tend to die of old age at five around this time which means yeah. technically but he's still child technically when he ascended he was already a middle-aged man huh. <laughs> so, yeah funny. but in my but in my but in my mind i went you know what the the mental state of a raccoon is probably the same as a child so we're gonna play this as a child quite For frankly sure. d- this dude has always been the goofy uncle who plays around with the kids but it's very protective okay. you know he's the uncle that'll get down and play play on the ground on all fours with the with the toddlers but he'll protect them fiercely as we've seen anytime anyone hurts any of the kids Oh, we haven't. Oh God, now it's that was reverse. It's reverse. Born Stellar, <laughs> receiving heroic <laughs> luck for us. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, we don't oh. use heroic luck. <laughs> well, heroic <laughs> luck in this game means that I, as the DM, get to heroically remove their luck and make them re-roll oh, any no. good roll they make. I mean, it's 500. I'm That's kidding. basically I'm an kidding. inspiration, right? That's everyone gets yeah, inspiration. Yeah, everyone gets inspiration. Um, oh. So, I had an interesting day. I made a 15-year-old almost cry. Um, Good job. Again, yeah. Markham. <laughs> no, the last time it was an 8-year-old. Look, There's we've a big talked difference. about this. We've talked about this, Markham. You can't you can't make kids cry. Yeah. You can't, but you shouldn't. I'm a teacher. You definitely can, <laughs> and you definitely should, because hashtag fuck them kids. This, <laughs> okay, these were some good kids, but she was she was joking around with her three friends who happened to be in band, and she was saying, band is stupid. My boyfriend is in band with you guys, and instead of hanging out with me on Saturday, he's going to be with you guys in Alabama. And she was like, she looked at me, she was like, isn't band stupid? I went, well, actually, that sounds to me more like an issue of commitment. Either you're not committing enough to go with him to band, or he's not committing enough to hang out with you on Saturday. You can't <laughs> critique the commitment <laughs> issues of a 15-year-old, Marco. Hey, I've never seen someone turn bright crimson with a hint of purple that fast. <laughs> you can't oh, yeah. the relationship I, I, I of a 15-year-old. <laughs> You know, yeah. she asked for the honest opinion. I gave my honest opinion and then immediately there... apologized because she looked like she was about to either laugh, cry, or both. Marco. 
let the you bitch cannot cry. Hold, you cannot hold 15-year-olds to the same relationship standard of 20-somethings. Yeah. You can't do it. Fair, Teach them young 20. so by the time they're 20-something, they won't have relationship issues. No. <laughs> or just not have a relationship. No. <laughs> Either or. They, they are physically incapable. <laughs> they cannot drive to Alabama. That's true. Sweet Join band. Alabama. <laughs> oh my god, Marco. Like I said, I roasted a kid today and almost made her cry. How anybody and questions you're not autistic is beyond me. <laughs> oh, I love this group so much. You uh, all are great. It was it was funny though. The three the three girls from band absolutely <laughs> loved my response. They thought it was hysterical. You just traumatized mm. a poor child and I know. made her friends laugh at her. I, well, hey, to be fair, to be fair, the entire class, she kept standing up and to one of the band girls going, "She's single. She's single." Trying to get the attention of a boy across the room who the girl had a crush on. So this just flipped wow. it, and now she was the one turning red instead of her band friend. <laughs> That's. Yeesh. High school wow. sucks. <laughs> high school does oh, suck. Oh, they were I freshmen and sophomores, too. So, yeah, yeah. Freshmen high in the high school, school sucks. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I forgot what it felt like to be in high school until I saw these kids re interacting with each other. I'm like, man, I forgot how embarrassing high school was. Okay. I want to forget that all. So, anyways, this but, yeah. campaign. Let's get we're, back. We're, already, we're already 20 minutes. <laughs> we are 20 minutes in now, yeah. We Let's have construction to... that is stretched already six months past their due point, and they're not even halfway done. Well, they had three we're gonna years. Talk Anyways, about, we're going to talk about Anyways. your school issues later. Now so, it's time for D and D and fictional all right. problems. First things first. Yep. I need everyone to roll initiative as I give the recap. As we last saw, Sir Wellington revealed his true identity to everyone. And when one of them was like, I don't get it, he was like, it's just an illusion. He kept popping on and off the ring, which made him shift between Sir Wellington and his true form. Um, at which point he got blasted in the chest by a bolt of magic. And standing in the stairwell behind everyone was a seething, borderline feral Marcus. Now so. decked out in cool black armor to get that edge in. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's, he's he's edgy priest now. He's edgy priest he's cool now. with the kids. <laughs> he's he's he, gone full um full Blackburn from Dragon Age. I don't oh, understand. Oh yeah, the okay, that makes making. sense. Matt gets it. He's I he's get Balthazar it. from Nemona. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, that's a. I gotta give three. points to the kid that I roasted today. She understood my Skyrim references and she understands Dova. Any whore. Dude, Skyrim has been out for. Has had 12 more years remakes. now. 18. 18? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. I'm fast as fuck. What did you get, Naz? Nine. Nine? <laughs> Dirty 20. All right, so what does Marcus got? What do you have? Oh, 15. 15. Okay, so we're going to go Sir Wellington, Callie, Marcus. Oh, wait, I got a roll for. um. Wait, what? Barbarian. Wait. No, Callie got. Wait. Wait, hold Kelly on. Got, Kelly got Kelly a dirty got 20. 20. Oh, you got the dirty 20. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was just doing that because dirty 20. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. The dirtiest, sluttiest 20. You know. <laughs> Let me have a slutty 20. Yeah. Are you really surprised by my actions no, at this I'm point, not, Markham? I'm not. Yeah, I actually, really shouldn't be. Petition to just call it a slutty 20 at this point. That, that Forever. Just, forever. That's just more fun to forever. say. Forever. Sure. The dirty I guess it, I guess 20. it beats having uh calling it a wet twenty. Ah! Gross. What what? Somehow There's a worse. one shot I played in once. Nah, it's a moist that. twenty. No no <laughs> so you beat me to okay, it. Okay, okay, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, that was what it was. 20. That was what it was. Moist twenty is if it was a dirty twenty and a wet twenty was a nat twenty. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, it was it's because nice someone and made a typo point. in the group chat. That was what it was. Moist so in type, it was a typo. Instead of nat, it said wet. So in wet twenty, we're like, oh, okay. So a dirty twenty. Those, is a those moist letters 20. aren't even That's next to was. each other. Also, auto just gotta say this now. Sometimes. It was autocorrect, not understanding moist. what nat was supposed to mean. I think. <laughs> I <Yeah>. hope. 
someone's playing it off as a, as though that they auto corrected because those letters aren't even close to each other, and Nat is short for Natalie or okay. Natalia. Any whore, we can definitely start calling it a slutty twenty. Okay. All right, Callie, go. No way. Callie, st- Callie is standing in front of her new raccoon friend. Okay. Between between Barkus and Sir Wellington. Callie. Both staff is out, way. bro. Out of the way. Is that what you're doing for your yeah. turn? No. That is for my movement. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I should say, um, Marcus rolled a nat 20, uh, not Marcus, um, Alberion oh, rolled a nat 20 on his, so- Does Alberion is... give a shit? <laughs> Alberion has turned around and is simply facing Marcus. He's not doing anything yet. He's holding his action. Okay. Okay. Callie is both staff out, standing between them. Marcus, we can explain. Out of the way, Callie. No. Well, you're 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 within range, so it's it's all good. Um, <laughs> That's a weird oh, threat. Oh, Marcus looks like a badass. No, I mean Callie is. Okay. Callie, he's here, and Abigail is here. We're gonna get those two and get the. Fuck How far out away here. is Abigail? Where Abigail? Abigail's not here. You're fucking weird. I heard her voice. Oh, <clears> that was it. Out of character. Sorry. Arkham, how far away is Abigail how from us? How far away is Abigail from us? Uh-huh. Um, not far. So you guys here. were all standing in a little group. Well, you were you with the group, like conversing, or did you just start walking around looking in the rooms? Well, no, she, she was starting to take the skin from Callie, and then she oh was, yeah, like, talking. yeah. So you're just about close. you're about okay. So you are about five feet to the right of Sir Wellington, holding the skin. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Does that mean Callie's within five feet of me as well? He's within, yeah, I'm he's right in front feet. of you. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I do hope, I Markham, you do improve the armor. I don't know what this I means, know was like I'm scared. Uh, five green, feet to so the left to of Sir Wellington, it. to the right from matter. Marcus's perspective. Yeah, the wet mat? It doesn't matter. Oh, I just hope you approve of the armor because I know it's like... Oh, no, I, it that's like, what I had in mind, pretty much. It was black and green, so I'm like, okay. Yep, but you yeah. nailed it. You nailed it. He's Balthazar. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm actually, in fact, going to patient defense. Oh, you should be. Oh, okay. Because because monk shit. I haven't done monk shit in a hot minute. Where are my key points? That's true. There it is. Do that monk shit. Monk shit. I'm going oh, to sorry. patient. I'm, I'm... I'm about to make it not matter, but okay. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't cast how ask how big the room was. I cast fireball, motherfuckers. Yeah, no. good luck, motherfucker. <laughs> I am right. fire. Is it my two? Uh, yeah, that's gonna be your turn. She's gonna patient defense in front of Sir Wellington. Markham, is there anyone else that goes before me? Uh, so excited. no. <laughs> so uh, Alberion is holding his action at the moment. Yeah. Wait, well- uh, globe of invulnerability goes up. Globe of invulnerability. Yes. What yeah. is that? It is uh, an an immobile, faintly shimmering barrier springs into existence in a ten foot radius around you. Remains for the duration up to one minute. Uh, <clears throat> any fifth level or lower. Uh, cast from outside the barrier can't affect creatures or objects within it, even if the spell is cast using a higher level spell slot. Such a spell can target creatures and objects within the barrier, but the spell has no no effect on them. Similarly, the area within the barrier is excluded from areas affected by the spell. That's, uh, That's all right, guys. Amazing. We're going to survive the apocalypse moment. <clears throat> We're going to fucking survive, bitches. All right. Does that go as... Wait, wait, wait. All right, it's Marcus's turn. Wait. Does he want to wait? No more waiting. And wait, so Callie right now is in front. Yes. Right? Patient defensing. Uh, 
hold on. Let me see us the requirement of a spell really quick. Okay. Yeah, do it. Because, of course, martial player playing a spellcaster. Always, always great. Spellcaster playing a martial class. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just all getting out of our comfort zone for this. Uh, where's Flame Strike? Oh, I don't. Go have ahead. Flame go ahead. Use Flame Strike on the fire, Janus. <laughs> no, I don't even have that. I have Dawn, so that's okay. It's not gonna work. Good morning. I wish you all good day. Um, you all died. I guess. For just before I do anything, uh, obviously he heard her voice, so he is going to be as he is blasting Sir Wellington, he is gonna also look for Abigail. Give me Can a perception see? check, and I don't have cool feats. I list the feats, I can't have fucking Mage Slayer. I want Marco Ooh, next time we Mage... rank up. Can I get Mage Slayer? Ooh, Mage I Slayer, why not? Fun. Hell you know, yeah. I, I can't give it to myself, so you have to I, give it to me. I should have given I should have given Milo Mage Slayer. Anyway, uh that's a twenty one. Yeah, you should have. That would have made sense. Right? You no, didn't share you didn't share anytime your you have to roll for damage, anything above a twenty is max damage. Yeah. That's true. Uh, not on spells apparently, which is bullshit because I'm like hmm? I'm most powerful. No, that's Markham's rule. Markham's rules anything no. above a 20 does max damage. Yeah, does as long as you... We're is, experimenting so, with this campaign. So okay, spells okay. as well. Uh, oh, the only time okay. spells... The only time spells aren't that is when you don't roll. It's when they, oh, it's an auto oh. hit. Right. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, sorry, sorry. So things like magic missile, you wouldn't just get that, like, because you don't the roll yeah, for it. You would have you to still... You would still yeah, have to so, roll for yeah. damage. Yep. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, obviously, any you have to make safe for. Right. All that that you would yeah. do because you're trying to see how much damage you're evading. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, the ones is... you roll for, if you roll over a 20, it means you are good at what you're doing and you're giving those as maximum capacity. Fair enough. Uh, that's a 21 for the perception. 21 perception for the for perception. He's trying to identify where oh. Abigail is. You don't see Abigail, but the woman holding the Sir Wellington skin looks weirdly <laughs> familiar. Like she has the same similar, like a little bit more That's... of a slumped posture. Like she looks like she could be Abigail's twin. If Abigail it's had Abigail a Jason. Twin, if, if Abigail had a twin with, a different hairstyle, no makeup, <laughs> darker skin, a bit more of a slouched, depressed posture, and was human instead of a dampier, that would definitely be Abigail. So It's Abigail from Wish. Yeah, it's Abigail yeah. from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Perfect. oh, and wearing pink and yellow, which is also it's Abigail very from Wish. weird. And you're um, like, Mom, can we get an Abigail? And so, she's like, we already have no, Abigail at Abigail. home. <laughs> Abigail at home. She fits Abigail in all the physical descriptions, but also not. Uh, but as far as Marcus is concerned, though, it's like, looks like her, but definitely isn't her. Just based on what he knows. Give me an intelligence yeah. check or an arcana. Give me an arcana check. Ooh. Vibe check her. Okay. She arcana is holding check. children's skin, which is an Abigail activity. It is an Abigail esque activity. <laughs> that is the thing. I'm like, yeah. Uh, intelligence. Wait, arcana, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, arcana. I always forget I don't have arcana for. Him. I, I always think that. Uh, that's a ooh, not bad though. Seventeen. Okay, so you are aware of magical spells that exist that allow people to disguise themselves. This could be Abigail under the form of disguise. Now, if you're wrong, you're murdering an innocent woman. But if you're right, this is Abigail in disguise. That is true. Uh, and she and this with... demon are clearly in league to plot against you guys. I don't know. I don't know how his brain's working right what now. What crap are you? <laughs> don't put thoughts in his head. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I was actually they brainwashed Cali. To be fair, though, yeah. As far as he knows right now, he sees the demon. He knows Abigail is here, and 
as far as he knows, Abigail is completely lost. He doesn't even know Abigail is somewhat trying to redeem herself. So, I've heard as far as working with an evil demon, and all of a sudden Callie's not doing this. Like, there is some bullshit happening, and Marcus is. And you also know that Callie was already almost enchanted by that Faye. Uh, that we well, don't know that she's almost? Faye by that um lady. Which, yeah, by yeah. the way, is she doing anything, or is she just watching this? Almost? No, you have two strange-looking women there, the Deidre and then that tall woman. They're just watching. Okay. Doesn't he know what... Oh, wait, never mind. Not... Uh, he knows Deidre, but he doesn't know... He doesn't know That's how he saw Deidre. Deidre left him to die to in the hands of her father. Mm -hmm. True. Although, to be fair, he was kind of nice to her. He's like, eh. You're just kind of a teenager. Okay, actually, yeah. She, I don't think he ever knew that Deidre was sending him to face his her father. No, wait. Deidre she showed did. up. She did she because Callie and her had that argument. And then yeah. Callie uh -huh. kind of froze her, essentially. Whoops. Yeah, but uh, he also, like, kind of gets that these are two teenage girls. So Anyway, sure. sorry. Sorry, sorry. I know. Well, you have, you have two definite threats. Well, one that could be a threat if you're right. And and if not, then you're you know killing someone. But you know, as, casualties and happen. As far as I know, casualties happen. Callie. Yeah, brainwash Cali, Alberion, and potentially four dangerous threats. Well, three, dangerous, gonna, <laughs> three dangerous threats in a teen. <laughs> he's gonna look at Cali and go, "I'm sorry for this," and I need her to make a wisdom saving. Wait, hold on, let me double check here. <laughs> yep, wisdom saving throw. Wait, what's well, it the doesn't rule work. Sphere, yeah. We're within huh? sphere. Sphere. No, with there, Callie. There, yeah, Callie's yeah, within. Callie's within the sphere. He's within five feet. It's wait, it's how big is the ten, sphere? It's 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 a ten foot radius around me. Oh, uh, it's okay. fizzled. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought it was just on you. Okay. We're all no <laughs> We are protected. <laughs> That's why That's I was like, yeah, because they were all within like the 10 foot radius. I was like, I got them all. Yep. <laughs> we have to have a civil conversation. <laughs> and Besides, a spell is it, doesn't, doesn't dodge action because patient defense gives you the gives you the dodge action. But that gives you advantage on dexterity saving throws. Yeah. Not on. Does it? Doesn't help yeah. with wisdom. Doesn't help with wisdom. Although, if you play an open-hand monk, they actually do have a I need player. to ask, though, Selkie, what's going through your brain that you think that taking the dodge action would help you deal with something wisdom-related? I don't know. If I'm no, getting hit... If I'm, yeah, if I'm getting hit with something, no. if, it is like, if, if, yeah, if it's like a beam of something, then yeah, I can <laughs> fucking... It's not word. getting to my brain because I dodge it. <laughs> it dodges his brain. You read the words, and as it sweeps <laughs> into your brain, you're like, no, I'm going to shake it back out of my head. I can dodge it. It wouldn't out. go over my head. My reflexes so... are too fast. I can't right? it. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> it's like that. Like, okay, uh, I it. What? So, <laughs> hold on. So, did it, uh, are there any perceived threats of Mar that Marcus sees that? He can attack, or because Deidre is there, the uh, uh, Abarion. And I'm pretty sure it's only no. just use your action. Abarion would be the only individual in this party outside of the <laughs> ten foot sphere. <laughs> we're all clustered He's... like that. Yeah, yeah we were all, all sitting we're around all chatting, around investigating okay. the strange Sir Wellington skin. We were. This <laughs> everyone okay. wanted to see okay. the strange boy coon. Boy coon. Rabboy. That's a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, huh? I'm trying to think of what Marcus could actually do. I mean, <laughs> Marcus is going to attack Albarian. <laughs> well, also, you just used your action, did you not? No, I didn't. Because I was spell? going to cast. I was going Tell to cast. Uh, give me, give me an Arcana. Give me one more Arcana check. Well, we can say he. Um, we can see well, if no. he was able to identify what the spell did before casting anything on Callie. Well, that was just me not knowing spells because I'm, I'm stupid. Well, it's also terrible. a matter. Yeah, it's also a matter of if you can recognize the sphere. Right. Yeah, sphere that's, does. that's why I want an Arcana check. Is can he recognize okay. the sphere? Okay. It could just be. A, it could just be an effect. Uh, fifteen. It's a 
It's okay. a faintly shimmering barrier. Meets it, beats it. The 15 was the DC for that. So he was able to, he's able to identify this is a sphere of invulner, sphere of invulnerability. And as he goes to go. cast the spell against Callie, he's like, I'm sorry, Callie. And then he just stops and he's like, wait a second. Wait a minute. It's close, though. Something. <laughs> it's close. It's close. It's you like, you met second. my DC. It was, you, you see the spell or of a pair, you know, it's like, and it just, you're like <clears> sucking <throat> it back in. You're like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> He's just going to sigh and go, fine. And he is going to cast uh, Spirit Guardians. Uh, at the let's do the fourth level because he needs that one spell slot, and he's okay. going to hold his mace and he's just going to start walking toward the walking toward the glow. Like if magic can't get through it, he will get through it. Ooh, fun! All right, that's what fifteen feet, fifteen yep. foot radius. You can make it to Cali within the globe at that at that point. It's not. I mean, it's a decent sized room. But it's not that big. Um, Callie, for the last time, move. Listen to me. We can explain what's going on for the most part. We're still trying to figure things out. If you come in swinging like this, we're not going to be able to figure anything out. Yeah, and you know what happened? Because I didn't swing first, all the people that are fucking dead because I decided to hold back on Abigail, on all of them, I am not going to do that anymore. If there is a threat, I will deal with it before it is, does What did I say, dude? Why am I a threat? You didn't say nothing. You killed 30 fucking children. You he drops a bag on the innocent. ground, just starts pulling, he, he starts pulling it down, and Source's head of gold starts popping out of it. You. I saved her. I saved son her. Son of a bitch and he is going to immediate oh can't do that because yeah, Callie's in the way come on bitch let's go <laughs> let's go um, Callie versus Marcus Callie versus Marcus it, I'm picking it, defensing right now let's ride okay since I ha can I use a bonus action to shove Callie out of the way uh that's gonna be a contested oh. strength check my friend all right bonus gate rule bonus gate rule bonus gate rule I'm sorry Oh, I got lightheaded. Okay. I like how Sir Orange is like, look, I'm a help. And he's like, you taunt me? I'm not taunting you. You taunt me. <laughs> uh, that's a... Uh... Marcus failed his wisdom saving throw to keep his cool. And he's doing the rage thing that we saw from Bajra on Friday nights early in the campaign. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a sick... That's a 15 strength. So is Callie making a strength save? Because strength she is check. The one being... It's contested checks. You're Contested. testing each other's strength against you because you're braced and ready for him. It's not uh -huh. like you're caught off guard. A save is like, oh my gosh, this is a I'm ready. So this is contested. Okay, so Marcus got what? Fifteen. Uh, fifteen. That's the number to be. I also, I also got a fifteen. Roll it again. <laughs> All right, roll off again. Roll off again. Bear. You guys lock, and it's like you know those those epic animes where they boom and they're just it's they're, like they're mace perfectly... hits bo both staff. <laughs> Hold on, let's. He's gonna do that. And go get out of the way roll off again roll oh. off again okay uh, that's a 19 all right 17 fuck Ooh. oh it's it's close but his his age and experience he manages to just trip you up and kind of topple you out of the way do i still well, do i still get my, my do i still get my dodge because of patient defensing Yes. Okay. So you, you don't fall so or I kind anything. Of, I kind of sidestep. Yeah. You he, get pushed, basically. He, you yeah, pushed he tries to push you over, and you just kind of, like, do this you, weird you, dance thing. You do the little roll, and then you pop back up. Yeah, so, you like... You do that thing yeah. when, like, you the, trip oh, on something, and you're the, about to fall, but then, like, you gain... You munch just, it. Yeah. Munch the, it. The only munch reason it. why you didn't... Why you lost your balance at all is you're still not used to that darn tail. The darn tails in my fucking way. Mm -hmm. So then, as response, as uh, can I go ahead and rage? Yeah. <laughs> you pushed me, you some bitch. 
Is Sir Wellington currently wearing armor? Not wearing armor. He's a he's wizard. He's a little guy. He's, he's, he's a little wearing, wizard. He's wearing little rain booties. That's what he's wearing. <laughs> Rain he's booties. Really yell- protection. You're gonna kill a little raccoon with rain he, he, booties. He, he's wearing a little like blue and yellow Legend of Zelda style tunic, and then he's got little yellow galoshes on. Fair enough. Kiss. That that rain is what he's wearing. He's got his little he's got his little squirrel on his shoulder. His little squirrel. Rain booties. Okay. Of protection. Okay. You know, I'm like, you know what, Marcus should do a wisdom saving throw to see how mad he is. Nope. He got, I got a fucking nat one. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're gonna, oh, fuck yeah. Barbarian shit. <laughs> Mad ass motherfuckers. Can I get a wisdom save from, uh, well, go ahead and roll your attacks and we'll see if it's necessary. For Marcus. Okay. okay. Yeah. I, I don't do have fucking sentinel. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a, I mean, Marcus doesn't really have any more attacks left because he did the Spirit Guardians and shoving. So, so yeah, so his turn's basically okay. Done. Okay, He's got can left. I get a Wisdom saving throw from him then? Yeah, that's a twenty-one. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> you hear a huh from Alberian back in the doorway. <laughs> 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 oh shit! <laughs> Man's got numbers. Oh. <laughs> okay. You just passed a level 20 wizard spell. Bro. Uh, I'm impressed. It won't have worked it won't have worked anyways. He's within uh, he's oh, within the true. globe. He is within, within the, the globe now. Well actually, as long as it was above a level 5 spell, it would have worked. It would have gone through. Yeah, fair. No, yeah. Um yeah, Albert just kind of goes, "Huh." <laughs> Doesn't matter the DC was 19 anyhow, so you you uh, he, he's just like, huh, okay, this guy's kind of impressive, but also, holy shit. Yeah. He's, he's, he's mildly impressed, uh, a little bit worried. <laughs> um, All right, that brings us to Abigail's turn. What does Abigail want to do? Good question. Uh, is he clearly after Sir Wellington? I mean, he said he's going to kill Abigail as well. Yeah, but uh, right now he is currently raising the mace to hit on his next turn. That is what is happening. Hit, right now. Sir Wellington. Oh, a little okay. raccoonicorn. Hit. Okay. Can she step in? Look at him. Them? Look at him. He's adorable. Is she quick en- or close enough or quick enough to get in between those two again? We need more people barricading. You're he like seems to five. Be the you're like five feet away from him. You are. Yeah, pretty- I don't know yeah, if that Cal- means yes Cal- or no. Callie got pushed out of the way, so there is space in front of Sir Wellington that you yeah, can occupy. Yeah, you can fully move. Okay, in front I'll do of that. And... She got straight up like ar- like stiff armed <laughs> out of the way. He, because uh, does Abigail know he doesn't? He's not entirely sure that this is Abigail. He ignored you he, and she... moved to Sir Wellington. Yeah, no, she's still going to do it, but yeah, he also well, did say Abigail's here. I just don't. Abigail's here, but didn't yeah. like look at you. you so know. she she can assume that he's not at least not a hundred percent sure that this is Abigail, but he has an idea that Abigail is here. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very much. So she's gonna get in between them and uh <laughs> Okay, well let's not do necromancy, because that'll be like that's Abigail. Mm. That's Abigail. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a skeleton. Hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> I wonder who Dahlia. that is. <laughs> Mask characters okay. have gotten dark since that, that Halloween one shot, Selkie. What'd you do? Wait, <laughs> only this character has gotten dark. I know, I'm just joking. Okay, Ironically, let's... the priest character, after I play the priest character, becomes dark. <laughs> okay. This is... Probably not gonna work. Okay. Try okay. it. Okay. Let's, Let's try it. Uh, wisdom save, please. Okay. Yeah, that is a big fat twenty-three. <laughs> nothing. That does nothing. 
Okay. Boy, you're just taking everything in stride. Holy <laughs> shit. Don't mess with an angry fucking cleric. No kidding. Don't worry. Y'all are using spells. <laughs> That is like, you're using spells <laughs> against someone who has wisdom saving throw and <laughs> wisdom and charisma saving throws. A cleric who has spells, them. yeah. Mm, but we don't want to do damage yet, because then you're going to get better. Well, well. <laughs> okay, some of us don't want to do damage. <laughs> some of us. I don't have to kill him. I just have to knock him the fuck out. I'm honestly surprised Abigail doesn't want to kill him. That's true. Abigail's working on herself. Listen, that's she's true. growing. <laughs> Uh, that's that's all she can do. I don't. Think she, she knows that if she brings him back to life as a zombie, you're definitely not gonna listen. <laughs> you're just if, gonna be half in the afterlife. If yeah. she punches him, he absolutely has an excuse to kill the shit out of her. So you know, we're being reasonable. If nothing happens, then I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> uh, I didn't yeah. touch you. I mean, he, if she all can always of spells failed. I didn't hit you. I mean, okay. One thing she can do. I will say this. You can try to convince him, but as soon as you open your mouth, he is going to know it's Abigail, and yeah. I was gonna say something, but I'm like... <laughs> well, what would Abigail do? Would she think... Give me an intelligence check. Would Abigail think of that in this moment? That is that I'm gonna say... Intelligence check? You can do it and it'll leave you up to chance with an intelligence check, or you can just tell me I what think do you think Abigail wouldn't, would do. But... I think she wouldn't, or she would be stupid enough to be like, it won't matter. He'll, he'll listen okay. to me. All right. So, so yeah. I rolled um, a 13, oh. but I don't think she's going to take it into Well, the DC was a 15 anyhow. So, yeah, okay, either way, it looks like she doesn't think it through. <laughs> she, you know, that's definitely Abigail, though. That's definitely Abigail. Yeah. Yeah. She's um, confident and enough Micah to think she can have and handle Abel. anything. Just the entire Nazarian clan, actually. Mm-hmm. Whoa, all no? siblings, all, all willing to talk before resorting to the violence. Oh, yeah. Well, no, because Abigail will hit, but she just thinks she can handle anything, even when that she absolutely true. can't. Even though she's she was still... recently, you know, decimated. It uh... might not be for a peaceful reason. It'll definitely yeah. be because I can handle this. Yeah. Because I want to like... yell at you. Because I don't want to get my hands dirty. You. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't want to, like, get, like, this is a new dress. It sucks and the color's gross, but I don't want any <laughs> gunk on it. Oh, this is yeah. not going well. Okay, so she's she's she has cast a spell and it has failed. She has gone. Oh wait, here's the real trick of it though. Did that spell have a verbal component? Good oh, question. that is true. true. She's gonna talk anyways, but but you know, still, still, is that moment of like, wait a minute, and then like, wait, wait a real... yes, no. it does. Oh. Yeah, it does. So, has so a he like, spoken. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> like, and she, she, she says spell. He has this moment where he's like, wait a minute. And then, sorry, continue, Naz. And she's going to get in between both of them. She's like, wait one minute. You. Yeah. Angry priest boy. And then I can't do anything until my turn. So let's, <laughs> let's get going. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Markham. <laughs> you okay? What? Markham, you okay? I'm doing great. <laughs> you need to hit, you need to hit I, the inhaler. Did I did I go too far with the Kenobi. voice there? I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry if the voice went too hard. I don't know. He shaked Markham. What? He's been sh- he's been shooken. He I shook. shook Markham. Yes, you did. I briefly turn into General Grievous. <laughs> so it's Callie's turn now? With her 20? No, it's Al- Albarian's turn, I think. No, yeah. Albarian already went. He, hold- he held his action and did his fail. Yep. Oh, uh, well, yeah, no, guess. he is top of the load order, though. though. So he will. Oh. Um, he He's will. Move. He did roll higher. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see. He's going to enter the sphere. And. So from my understanding, even within the sphere, if you cast light, it still doesn't affect things within the sphere. Perfect. Wait, really? Wait, it does? See. Huh? 
I, I don't spells, know. Spells, spells still within the sphere do not work as if they were being attacked into the sphere. Oh, it's okay. an anti-magic zone. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh... Oh, so wait, Abigail's <laughs> spell. Yeah, so would have already failed anyways, but. <laughs> It's, it, failed, it failed either way, but yeah, spellcasters have been nerfed. It would have failed <laughs> automatically. Yeah, he's going to walk inside and say, "Well, I'm rather useless right now," <laughs> and he'll hold his action. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Um. Now it's now it's Kelly's turn. Now it's Kelly's for, turn. For he's a wizard. He can't it... do shit, but with magic, you, you know? can cast anything above fifth level. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't want to nuke the yeah. building. <laughs> I'll hurry up. Jerry's bossing it. <laughs> Go for it. Don't worry, we won't need to argue anymore. We'll be in hell. <laughs> because the thing is, the wording of the spell is even if it's a fifth level spell upcasted, it doesn't yeah. work. So base level is has to be fifth level or no, higher. No, it has to be sixth level. It has or to higher. be sixth or level. Sixth and level. The stuff that sixth level does a shit ton of damage. You're yeah. talking like Vladimir Goff's meteor swarm type stuff. Well, that's a level nine spell. Right. That is a level nine. But, but he, yeah. Same difference. This is a wizard so who is optimized to low level spells that are practical and then massive high level spells. This is a level 20 wizard who has optimized what he wants because he knows crowd, what he uses. Crowd control. Yeah. Fair enough. He's either he's super direct and not going to kill a man or he's doing crowd control. Yep. Or he is like, oh, yeah. well, you're dead to me now anyhow. So let's wipe your existence Just... off the face of the earth. Oops. Is that a crater? Oh, yeah. That's a crater. But yeah, come on. Cal. Congratulations, you've been promoted to crater. <laughs> yeah. Galley uh, versus for Marcus. For so. simplicity's sake, can I just know what your armor class is? 21. Ooh. That's a nat 20 for my first hit. That one definitely hits. Double uh-huh. max damage. Double max damage. Double so max. that is. Um. Forty. Forty eight. points of damage for the first hit. Forty. Yep. Fifty-eight plus four. And then I'm going to hit again because I'm raging. That's another nat twenty. <laughs> another forty points. Why can't you roll He's... like this when there's you know enemies yeah. that you can kill? You know. Mm. I... Listen, the dice, the dice. Also, with her raging, take it away. with her raging, is she going for non-lethal or is she just lost it? That's she's thing. hitting with her. She's hitting with her bow staff, so it the most. It's not going to kill him. Oh wait, trust she's me, trying. You can kill someone with a bow staff. You can. She's, well, granted, you her bow staff can. is off. That's why I, I'm, I'm as... totally aware. Her <laughs> bow staff is also a metal pipe. So then you definitely can kill someone. <laughs> Yeah, look. But she's what? not. Oh, look! I, I smacked no, you I really hard this. on the on the base of the skull. What? You know, I severed like, your spinal cord. <laughs> Whoops! Like wooden it's weapons just can just kill. Really what yeah. wooden weapons can kill? What metal weapons can fucking kill? Yeah, but she's not aiming to kill. But she is but raged she's out, raging, so she's probably yeah. She's she is probably raging, just, though. She's probably just swinging on him and now i am going to spend another key point and Valeria blows but i because i uh, am uh uh do you, hold on key so, points are not magic first key points off are not magic no first off though so it was 40 for the first one and then 40 for uh-huh. the second one right uh-huh yes marcus is down you're already down. Uh, I need blows. Can, 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 can. I, had, <laughs> had, I love had, this. Callie had had just comes in, in and whacks the I shit out of him. I need Callie to make me an intelligent saving throw at disadvantage because rage. At disadvantage because I don't get disadvantage because of rage. He's telling you you get disadvantage <laughs> because of your Anyone at rage. Your rage, of rage should have disadvantage in my book because well. <laughs> Not thinking clearly. <laughs> what? Did you not want it? You know, no, I did not want it. Because Marcus think, was at 78. Marcus was at 78 from the fucking oh, paladins yeah. that Mark That's um, true. said after him. And then, yeah, no. <laughs> so, after, like, 
sending three of those fucking things? <laughs> was that it, Markham? <laughs> There were three of yeah. those, and then two of a different type of uh, devil. After yeah. he's like, after like, can I? Do I find a room? He's like, nope. He's like, shit. Okay. So yeah, no, he is, is going that to be is down. A, that is a whole four for her intelligence save. Okay. She not. She not smart. She doesn't know that he's down. What do you want to do? Uh, she is the only thing she can do. She's going to flurry of blows, and because she is, um. Open hand, she's going to push. Um, push him fifteen feet away. And I'm guessing because it, it fail is a strength saving throw, but since That's he's down, an auto fail, yeah. yeah, he's just gonna auto go flopping. Fail. Yep. Does he get slammed against a wall by chance? Because that's Probably. gonna make him take more it's damage. It's pushing him it's pushing him fifteen feet away. So it's not that far. No, but how But if you do something far? that causes him to take damage, it's an automatic fail on one of his death yeah. saves. And he already has two fails on the death save. No, they they, no, they what? Well, How? yeah, yeah. Flur- no, flurry of blows listen, is two listen. hit. Yeah. But it's not you're not getting pushed far. You're not gonna take damage from being pushed. You're no, just but, like, No, no, no. But hit. if I get pushed far enough to where like there's a wall within ten feet and I go the full fifteen feet, I'm gonna hit it. He is you're, going you're to take, but you're not going to take damage from that. So that's not fall damage. No. Markham, fall damage is different take... than push damage. Okay, hold on, Markham. What do you take damage if he got slammed against a wall? Or not necessarily. All right, wait, but you're going. Are you going for damage? Or are you going just to to push him away? Be- well, well, because because she's way of open fist, it's flurry of blows, and she can choose to push somebody back fifteen feet. Okay, but it still does the damage with, too, right? With her, yeah, yeah, with her flurry <laughs> so, of blows, yeah, he'll already take accommodated for not from hitting a wall, take, but from getting hit. From yeah, so so her two flurry of blows hits is two automatic fail death save right. fails. So he's on one more. Right. But he's not going to automatically fail all three death saves right. from her flurry of blows. Right. So you're no, just going. No. Okay. Yeah. So okay. And is it all? My next was... question is, is, is it auto crit because he's already down? Does it does. get max damage? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah so that's... clearly. Okay. It he's doesn't matter. Go. He's getting just getting death saved, but that's 10 points of damage. Okay, right. yeah. I'm just worried about well, it. Does, hit it, by it, wall. Do, it does matter yeah, as because as if, if as long as he doesn't go up to like what his original max was in terms of yeah, damage. It's not going yeah. to. It's only, it's only <clears> 10 <throat> points per hit, so it's only yeah, 20 yeah. points of damage, so you're fine. So basically, Callie is um a oh, uh, street fighter, a raging, a um, raging flaming gay. No, what the fuck is the game I'm thinking of? Um, Deck it? it's it's one of those street fighter games, uh, Mortal Kombat. She's doing a Mortal Kombat um oh, fatality X-ray. move against. <laughs> no, she's doing an X-ray. That's what she's doing. <laughs> fatality. <laughs> oh, there's no there's no fatality <laughs> happening epic here. Combo there's no hit here. bones to come. It is a very epic combo because monk shit. Monks, oh, no, monk this, barbarians, they're broken. He, he's got numerous broken bones. He is bleeding severely internally. You don't know it because A, you're raging, and B, um, what damage? He, he's <laughs> internal bleeding. Um, <laughs> so he's down. Yeah, he is so down. He's from down. The he is he down, is, and he is fifteen feet away. Yep. So he he just okay. he gets hit from her behind twice with the metal pipe. He goes limp before he even falls to the ground. She hits him twice more, and then on the third hit, he goes flying and just like a Skyrim anima- animation, ragdolls across the room and into the wall. <laughs> uh, so do I have to make a death saving throw though, or <laughs> yeah, probably um, on your turn. On your turn. I was. Okay, because, yeah, I got Sir Wellington, and then it's my turn. Okay. I drop Globe of Invulnerability, granted, and I go, uh, okay. Is it obvious he's down? Uh, Give me a medicine check. I mean, he kind of just got smacked. (laughs) Love you. (laughs) With a five and a half high. foot tall. Oh, hi, net twenty plus one, so twenty one. Oh, he's not. He's critical. He's in crit. This this guy, you know, he's he, he looks like he fell off a tower or something. Okay, he is unconscious. Uh, uh. Could you give me d- an arcana check too, just on the side? I hit okay. like a bus. <laughs> Fifo, motherfucker! You should have listened. Uh, 
uh, is uh, Dirty 20. Okay, thank you. Continue. Um, yeah, I goes, he goes, he's, he's unconscious. Um, um, uh, shit. Watch your mouth, Sir Wellington. There's, <laughs> you're a child. <laughs> he just kind of scowls at you, goes, uh, do, do, does anyone have, have shackles? I mean, I could conjure a few, and Alfine just... <laughs> Thank you! He grabs them and just runs over and, like, cuffs uh, uh, Marcus's feet okay. and uh, together, and then his arms behind him. I was okay. about to say, like, you should do the arms. <laughs> <laughs> no, he needs both. No, uh, he will need both, but I'm like, arms is definitely better. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Uh, he, go he goes... Okay, I'm a. I, uh, let's see. Um, uh, um, he's thinking really hard, and he's like, "I don't, I don't think, I don't think I can like magically heal him." Um, but I will try to, to uh, get him a little bit to himself, and he he will try to like uh stabilize him. Okay, give me Do the help a, action. Give me a give me a medicine Both. check with advantage. Okay. And Matt, I'm gonna need a death save from you. Can I help? Uh, I have the 15. healer's feet. Fifteen. Right. I, it was three and a uh, four. That's fourteen. A, sorry. Three and a four. That's an. That's an eight. An eight. Okay, okay. So you're sitting, it's like a scene out of a medical drama. You're sitting there, you're like, you're all three over there working on him, working on him. He does not appear Callie's to be not. breathing. She's trying to calm down. <laughs> oh yeah, Callie's not. So Abigail and Sir Wellington are down. working together on him. Um, He does not appear to be breathing. A Barian! Can you help? Out of the way, out of the way. Um, okay. Sir Wellington, as so as he's walking over, Sir Wellington, as you're wait, does the globe move with you? The well, I, I, dispe I, 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 dis I, okay. I dispelled it. Um, as yeah, you're sitting be... there looking at him, the armor he's wearing starts to glow. What? What the? Um, the is that supposed to be happening? Um, Abigail, is that supposed I, to be happening? I am so afraid. Oh. I did put on cursed armor. Oh shit. Matt, you're at full health. Oh what? You're at full Marcus? health. Marcus? Sorry, Marcus is. Marcus is at full health. <laughs> Matt, you personally. Health. Yeah, Matt, you're at full health too. <laughs> it you it compared, to la later. compared to last week, I mean, you're at full health. <laughs> I mean to be fair, I do feel like ninety five percent now because I have been sick like a dog and it has fucking sucked. But anyway. So oh yeah. Yeah. Marcus is at full health. You wake wide open. Why you you your eyes shoot open, and you are staring at Sir Wellington, who is right over you. Headbutt. <laughs> un un unarmed attack. <laughs> unarmed attack. Oh no! It is Sir Wellington and this strange woman who you think might be Abigail. They are they are right over your body. They're like uh, touching you. Turn. You are handcuffed. It worked. <laughs> okay. Uh. So he's just like, is... I did it. So now that so Marcus funny. sees that this is definitely, uh, you see this little fuzzy dude with this little horn sticking over here, like yeah, he is going to see that like okay, this is most likely Abigail working with a fucking demon because she <laughs> likes to work with fucking demons. So Naz odds or evens two, yeah. Yeah, even. Okay. <laughs> even odds are evens too. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean, you motherfucker. Nice. Okay. Green or purple? Pink. <laughs> okay, so uh... you know what I mean. The number two, the one that's two. Yeah. Oh, okay, or so... better yet, Naz, one or two, purple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so seeing as how this woman is most likely at Abigail, he is going to headbutt her and Naz. That is a nat twenty. Ruda. <laughs> yeah, but you're also you're also a baby boy, so if you do max damage, double max damage, that's what like eight. 
Uh, no. So double max damage. Yeah, because you don't roll on a uh unarmed for regular. So yeah, it's just eight. Yeah. So he. And Wait, how do I? How do you, you calculate just, that? You just, take just you, it tells you. Yeah, it tells you an unarmed strike. It does like probably like one d four damage. So well, he's no, doing max double just... max damage. So it's eight points. Oh well, no! When no, it but comes do I have to, to roll like... strike? Uh, oh yeah, roll. if you're doing unarmed, yeah, if you, yeah, if you're doing an unarmed strike, you still have to roll. Me? Yeah, you still have to. No, I still have to roll. Oh, okay. I'm doing it. Nat- so you got the nat twenty. Yeah, that's to so, hit. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, for sure. that's it, Abigail. Sure. So, yeah. So you take so Abigail takes eight points of damage. So yeah. So all in this, he wakes up like wondering what the hell's going on, and then like looks and sees this happening and realizes that this is Abigail, and somehow his hatred for Abigail is worse than this demon. And he just rears his head back right in the fucking nose. Just... Can you give me a... Str- okay. Um, okay, yeah. Good job. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, just boom. It is It is Abigail's turn. He's going to like <laughs> reel back. What the fuck? We just fucking saved you. What is your problem? I don't want to be saved by the likes of you. Okay. Give me a perception check, Ab- Abigail. Can you give me a perception check? Yes, I can. If I can find it. Uh. Mm, nine. Okay. He might be able to be reasoned with. You can't read him. <laughs> Wouldn't that be can insight, though? Not perception. Now nah, we're sticking with perception. Okay. Her insight is horrible. <laughs> well, her perception wasn't that good either. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than insight. Okay, here. <laughs> Let's see. Also, I will definitely. Her insight was fourteen. <laughs> mm. I rolled insight just for fun. Okay. Oh. For once. That's a decent insight for Abigail. Yeah. She's that not is. bad. She's actually a little in tune <laughs> right, with right, the room around her. She has cause to be afraid of him. <laughs> He's not joking around. Yeah. He's in chains though. Okay, okay. She's gonna <laughs> summon she's gonna summon a Undead not Army. A, oh, not a demon, because he's gonna be mad. <laughs> Let's do But some... I've changed! Look! Whoop, I'm a demon! <laughs> <laughs> he's on my side. <laughs> yeah, Fine. let's do... Uh, and now they him. work for me! me. <laughs> <laughs> I've converted him. See, you should be proud of me, priest boy. Oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta check something really quick, because if... I'm sorry. If something happens... Wait, the undead? if something doesn't require something... Oh. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, no. Do the undead thing. I want to see... Do the undead thing. I oh, want to do something. I'm trying to decide which one. I don't really understand the difference. Uh, Fuck I it, will... let's do a demon. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, will, okay. I, will, I will need the CR for that undead, by the way. It, it just des- gets done. destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's probably half. It's, probably, <laughs> it's not even one. It's probably half. Uh, it's half or a quarter. This is the fun thing. Channel Divinity... I mean, technically, ha- so wait, is it? Oh, that's the preserved life is an action. Okay, you know, because Channel Divinity doesn't have is no action. So if she summons an undead, that uh, he will do destroy undead. Uh oh. No, my girlfriend. <laughs> she's not here. It's fine. I was like, yeah, no, she's not here. She no, is fine. safe as hell. I don't see the CR. Challenge proficiency bonus equals your bonus. What? What? What's the what are you to... What's the what's the spell you're trying to do? Well, I'm trying to find the CR, but it's summon undead. Yeah, okay. okay. Challenge it says dash proficiency bonus equals your bonus. I don't think it, 
I don't, One second. I don't think that makes sense. Uh, you summon an undead spirit, CR. Uses the undead spirit stat block. Mm -hmm. Ah, stop it. Well, the yeah, the undead spirit has would have a CR rating. Does it just get fucking destroyed? No, I think I think because I think because it's the undead spirit is can only be accessed through the summon undead spell. That's why there's not a CR attached to it. Maybe so it's not like a, a DM can use it for um. Because it says challenge dash proficiency bonus equals your bonus. So I guess my proficiency bonus is the challenge rating. No, that'd that be would way too sense. high. That would that's be what way I thought too. too. But that's what it, it literally says challenge. Yeah, it does say that challenge yeah. blank proficiency bonus equal to your bonus. Yeah. All right, what am I looking at here? What is the spell? I, uh, uh, summon, summon undead. undead. Summon an undead spirit, and it's just we're doing. Challenge. We're gonna do. Uh, right, we're gonna so. do a skeleton. A skeleton. Okay, so then let's just look at the CR of a skeleton. Yeah, but it's a spirit skeleton. Right? Okay. Skeletal undead spirits. Okay. Is that the same? Yeah, skeleton skeleton challenge rating of a 0. 0.4 or yeah, a no, one quarter. Yeah. But is it that or is it different? Because it's challenge says proficiency bonus. I don't know. I don't or know what's either. your what is what would be your hold on or the spell level that wouldn't make sense either no Doom <laughs> duties, challenge un challenge unspecified cool <laughs> does it destroy we don't know <laughs> we don't know your guess is Marka, as good I as think ours. you're gonna have to make a call because oh i found it no i fucking found it it's one half one half for someone in yeah. Okay. Yeah. For un for any undis for the undis spirit for the uh, I was looking it up. Yeah. Undead. It's one half. So it's wait, it's half the proficient bonus or no, it's the CR is one half. Okay. I mean it'll still have to do a saving throw to be turned, so there is that. Cause All right, yeah, I'll well, roll it for it real quick. I have its stat block up here. Yeah, because for the skeleton. It's a... Yeah, so the skeleton. Throw, so... It's a yeah. wisdom yep. saving throw? Wait, hold on. Let me see, actually. Let me double check. Again, don't do spell casting. So, uh, Where is it? Okay. Channel Divinity. Turn Undead. Uh, yeah, it's a saving throw. So, Is that, a, is that instant, throw. though, or is that on your turn? Uh, yeah, that is on your turn. That'll you be on my turn. Yeah, so. channel divinity has to work on. Yeah, so you guys, channeled. you guys go through your turns while I figure out this, because I think it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Either way, she's yeah. gonna get mad about getting headbutted and summon a skeleton just to help get have backup just in case. This is my hype man. <laughs> Um. Uh, what did he just say? He, oh yeah, he just said he doesn't don't like. I me. don't doesn't want help from you. Yeah. He doesn't. He yeah. He, basically, I'd rather die than be saved by the likes of you. Is what he said. Real In sweet Carlos guy words. thing to do. Okay. Yeah. Huh. What, well, Markham? Real what sweet guy thing to do. Say. <laughs> yeah. Also, it is a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. He has changed. All right. Wisdom save. I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay, yeah. You can save your attitude. You do not get to save that. After everything you have fucking done to fuck everything up. I know. I know. Oh, you know. Oh, do you hear that? She knows. Good. Abigail fucking knows something. 
this make you feel better? What would feel better is if your head was against that fucking wall, mashed like a fucking pumpkin. It might make you feel better to know that I've already died. No, because I didn't cause it. Well, you're free to. <laughs> Go ahead. Kelly, it's technically <laughs> your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, you are still raged. Just over there hulking out. Yeah, because that was last turn. So hmm. it's not like she hasn't made an attack or been hurt since then. Albaron so is just yeah. carrying yeah. over his held action. Uh, Callie is going to come behind uh. them, standing at Markham's, Marcus's head, uh. and place her the butt of her bow staff, the mouthpiece, because it's gross. And placing it against his forehead, pinning him down, so he no longer can headbutt. <laughs> Stop it! No, <laughs> no. That would have been useful before. Right. <laughs> well, it wasn't her turn before. She before fucking knocked you broke the fuck out. <laughs> Alberian's still holding his action. Yep, he has okay. moved up he's to where chilling. you guys are, but he's holding his action. He appears to be studying him intently. So it's my turn now. Understand. It's your turn now. Callie's going to talk down to Marcus and be like, angry. (laughs) Something something in you is different, and I don't know what it is, and I'm sorry that I have not been able to help. I did save Sorcia, and I did save Callie, and I did save you, and I got the oh, others to to where they needed it. to be. You shot it. What is wrong with him? He looks so as he's saying that he looks so he's like looking over at Alberian. Oh yeah, yeah. So he is in a Hanala form right now. That little fake creature that had traveled yeah, yeah. all throughout the Feywilds. Um, it's a Hanala. Oh. Yeah. It's your friend. What the. F- Fucker, why do you fucking look like that, you fucking piece of shit? We can it's explain a... things is if this... you just practice some patient, oh, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, no. Have and, uh... This is fucking uh, summon something worse than a fucking archdevil to fucking go fuck everything up. Yeah, because I'm going to be calm when you have someone like her. Do I have to hit you again? You know what? You might as fucking well. Okay. Marcus, um Okay, well I'll, we'll let her take her action first. Tell her action first. She's going to pick up her bow staff off of his forehead and nudge Abigail and um Sir Wellington off of him, away from him. Kind of scooched. This is an auto. I will say this is an auto crit because he is prone. Because he he is prone yeah. and he is and he is. Restrained. He's he he, 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 <laughs> well, he his arms are cuffed behind him. Yeah, his legs true. are cuffed. He's prone and restrained. He's just you masochist. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna push them aside. And then walk over him again to to be at his feet, and she's gonna sit down in a in a monk meditation pose. So did you? Okay. And uh, she's going to willing willingly drop rage. Okay. Uh, That's the thing that can happen. Give me perception at disadvantage. Twelve. Twelve. All right. Everything's hunky dory. Um, yep, Matt, fine. it's your turn. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, so Abigail did summon the thing, right? Mm-hmm. There's a there's a skeleton standing right there. Next uh, what to was her. the wisdom saving throw on that skeleton? I need to roll that because <clears throat> he is doing channel divinity. Uh, that's that actually part. a nat twenty. 
Hell yeah. yeah. And my skeleton. Plus <laughs> zero. So it's just a nat 20 for a 20. Come on. Awesome. First okay, time yeah, I did. Come on, little but, guy. I, but first time I, know I rolled for a fact my mini die for the first time. That is yeah. awesome. I know it so passes the, because. The divinity. You'll see that. Just... Channel divinity doesn't get any higher than a 19. So, you know, for. Well, for yeah. One. I mean, the fact that uh, with where I'm at level wise as well, like my. I know channel divinity saves won't be higher than my my save throws, so mine's at an eighteen right now. Right. Yeah. So you he's fine. So super smart, um, scaly man. Can you give me a strength check, Matt? Okay. Okay, that is a t- plus four. Twenty two. Um, he snaps the chains like they're paper and stands up. He's just gonna look, not even say anything. Uh, uh Naz. A nat twenty to hit me. No, no, no not a nat twenty. <laughs> just uh, let me just see here. Twenty. Are you checking if like a thirty-eight hits the wizard? Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a. Selkie actually got it. It's a twenty-seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it hits I'm a witch. Ten. <laughs> I'm a witch. <sighs> All so, right. Uh... So you bl- so basically this blinding flash of light happens. The skeleton's head spins around, but he's fine. <laughs> and then as the light kind of calms, Marcus is standing there, the shackles shattered but still cuffed to his arms and ankles, and he's swinging at you as your vision oh, kind of no. comes back. He he ain't swinging. He is blasting her with a level five fucking guiding bolt oh shit and that's so uh and i use a held action that i had and kick out his ankles because i'm already sitting on the floor in front of him what i will give you the opportunity to try yes okay with my unarmed strike yeah and i rolled pretty damn well there come on uh, uh 26 okay you hit him but it's like kicking a tree made of metal that's fine uh give me an intelligence check please that is also uh 10 points of damage to you my friend okay cool. because yeah. it's monk shit because monk shit uh, give me a what check intelligence check intelligence I'm not smart. The we know. What the fuck do you think this is? Okay. Oh, hey, uh, we're pretty smart today, though. So, Allie, 8 times 6 smart. is 48, right? That 8 times right. 6, yeah. Okay, yeah, because Abigail takes 48 radiant damage. Crisis on a cracker. Awesome. So, as Luckily, he she's not undead chains, anymore. True. Yeah, this as is. he breaks the chains and just, you, uh, Callie sees him uh, just Wouldn't rearrange. breaking the chains be an action, though? I'm allowing this to be a bonus action for undisclosed okay. reasons. For undisclosed reasons. Okay. What was that I, I just, want, I just wanted to check. Fair enough. What was that uh, intelligence check, um, Callie? 21. 21. All right. All yeah. Right. Carry We're on, smart man. today. You know, so as he's going back and Callie gets a good hit in, he just is so mad and so just done with everything. He just immediately blasts her. Just bla- not Callie. Blasts Abigail square in the chest with just this bright yellow light. Just boom. Oh, jeez. Ow. Yeah. 48. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> oh, and then since first. since that's not my bonus act, since I can't use you've my used bonus an action, action or a bonus action. Yep, that is entirely my turn. All right, you only have one action as a cleric. Yes. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, only martial classes get more than one one attack. Clerics get yeah. more than one attack. At least no, they paladins. do not. Oh, paladins. 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 <laughs> 
Remember, Sorsha is the paladin of this relationship. Right, right. I am the cleric. Right, right. All right, Sir Wellington, it is, I do believe, your turn. Or is it Abigail's turn? I think it's Sir Wellington. I think it's Sir Wellington. Yeah, it's Sir Wellington. Wellington. Sir Wellington, it's your turn. Okay. You just saw Marcus blast Abigail with Guiding Bolt. Uh, Make a wisdom save for me, please. Uh, can I get a perception check from Sir Wellington also? Uh, okay. That is a 17. Okay, you do not pass. A hold monster goes into effect. Well, you are. I'm not a, you are, I'm he's not a monster huh? class. He's not monster class. It would have yeah, to be a humanoid. A, uh, or hold creature. You know, that. No, you have so, to use hold person. Yeah. So it, hold says, person. it says choose creature that you can see within range. Right, right. Uh, that is applying to any non-human being. Uh, he, hold person is for humanoids. It's yeah. weird that way. It's weirdly worded. For some reason, humanoids don't count as creatures. Eh. But then, that based off of that, how did that work then for, uh, what you can call it? Nope. Sorry, drop dice. Uh, how did that work for Archfey? Archfey are not considered humanoids. Archfey oh. are uh, the monster okay. class creatures. because they are they're creatures. monster class because they're yeah. yeah, definitely or, monster class. Yeah, or fey or fey class. Depending okay, on what, what? Okay, out of curiosity, would I have known that then? Because I, as a player, just was not aware of that. Give me, give me an intelligence check on top of the perception check. <laughs> Reception probably going to suck. We'll see. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a four. Oh, um, okay. And then intelligence. That would be twenty-one. Twenty-one. You would know that. You get. You do the same thing Marcus did earlier. You go to cast, and you're like, "Oh wait a second, that only worked on Aviran because he's not human or humanoid." Okay. Hold person would definitely still work. Hold person would that. work. Yes, hold person would work. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I have hold person. For some reason, gods, even though they're humanoid in appearance, oftentimes count as monsters. Can't I'm not pull. Sure what that was. Markham, can I have your permission to retcon something really fast because I'm reading? Okay. My hit to Marcus. Can I apply stunning strike to it? Where he has to make a what oh, save? It's... Con. I will allow you to do that next round since she made that okay. observation this round. Okay. And she that's couldn't fine. have made that observation before making the physical contact of her attack. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But next round, absolutely. Okay. Um, yay. Well, if I had on that I probably would have gone okay so do should I have him do another saving throw or would that still apply uh, do you want to do another do I another do I don't care whatever you guys way. prefer honestly uh oh, hold on uh evens it still applies odds I do another one that sound good that's fine uh eh, odds so, all right. Another one. All right. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, wisdom. Still. Yep. That is a twenty-six. Okay. Well, that doesn't affect you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you're like, you know, I'm just trying to explain things as he backs off and goes. 
but it doesn't seem like you're going to listen. He looks over at Althing. Do you care to help us with this situation? Can you please? <laughs> Mommy, help. All right. Um, Mom! All right. Yes. That is yes. your turn. It is back to Callie's turn. Well, what about uh, Alberion? Uh, Alberion is holding his action. What the? He's what is he? Hey, yo, please. He, he's <laughs> been. Mr. Intelligence over here has been studying you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got a big brain, the biggest shit. He's he's Probably. doing a whole Sherlock Mind Palace bit that none of you can hear. Discombobulate. <laughs> that that saves the bell right. Um okay. Alberion's neurodivergencies are showing. <laughs> yep. So, so, so anyone help the poor guy. Sure he, sure he's not just he's not just associating. <laughs> someone should and, someone save him. Any whore. Any whore. Okay. I'm going to make I'm going to make another unarmed strike because okay. Marcus uh, AC is 21 just a reminder oh, she always why hits. is it why is it bigger now huh that is 21 so I'm going to hit you yeah, for yes, another 10 it. I'm gonna hit you for another 10 and I'm gonna need you to make a con save. Okay. Uh oh, I didn't apply the previous hint. Hold on. So 20. Okay. Uh con? Yes. Uh yeah, no, that is a that's a fat four. So Hell yeah. You are stunned till the end of my next turn. Okay, cool. Let me just remind myself because I remember let what me, let stun me, does. Somewhat, let me do but... it for you. Stun is incapacitated and cannot move and cannot speak. And what can speak only falteringly. You're automatically safe, strength and deck saves, and all attack rolls against you have advantage. All right. So you are incapacitated. Yourself. See that see that thing? You uh you cannot take actions or reactions. You are just there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. Let me see that. There's no actions, no reactions, no movement. You can talk, though. Falteringly. You auto-save strength and dex, and all attack rolls have advantage. Yeah. Anywho. Anywho. Okay. Anywho. Alright. That brings us back to Matt. You going to fucking listen to me now. Ignore them. Listen to me, Marcus. Why are you defending them? Because we were talking things through. Like how we're supposed to. It hasn't, it hasn't worked for me. And he's just gonna, yeah. I can't do anything, so he just... You're not, yeah. you're not the one. Then listen to me. You know, he's, you know, he can't do anything, so he's just, yeah, I can't do anything, so he's just, kind of says that, and as you say that, he just kind of stops listening. He just sort of just goes Give me a perception. Give me a perception check from Callie. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you don't notice that he stopped listening, so say what you're gonna say as if he was listening, because as far <laughs> as you know, he's listening. We were talking things out. He was explaining himself. We were trying to get to the bottom of things, and then you just barged in here, throwing hands like I'm usually the one to do, but you always showed me that I need to stop and talk things out. So I'm talking things out. No, he says nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. As you I'm get going, to the end, I'm of... going to I'm I'm going to ready my next attack. All right. Um, everyone's just kind of holding your action until we get round to where he can he can move again. 
I I do want to keep uh at least Sir Wellington behind me. Oh, we... Sir Wellington oh, has way back oh, up. Oh, oh, Sir Wellington, oh, Sir Wellington. Like priest, man. I'm like Sir Wellington has he hasn't done that already. I feel like that would be something Sir Wellington would do. Go to mom. No, Sir Wellington has backed up and gone looked at Alfie and going, "You're gonna step in and help." Right. Um. Give me a give me a perception check, Sir Wellington. What is uh what is uh and and Abigail for that matter. Perceptions. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would be a seventeen. Okay. Twenty-two. Okay. Um, Sir Wellington. Uh, she appears deep in thought. Abigail. She seems terrified. Uh, Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Of what have you found, Marcus? Wait, what? What have you found? I don't know. <laughs> I just found find? cool black armor. Did you All find? right, Marcus, it's your turn. What do you want to do? I you're... literally can't do anything. No, yeah, you're... it's he. No, he's frozen until the end of my turn. Right. We've we've I, I'm saying are we just holding actions and observing until we get back to him being able to move? And you're continuing mm-hmm. to talk and him not listen, because Callie doesn't know he's not listening. No, I would I wanna go see Alberion. Okay. So Callie's gonna be the only one real close to him. Callie's right there, just talking and talking and talking, and he's just not listening. As far as you know, he's listening deeply and can't really emote or anything because he's kind of Can I make it can I make can I make a new per, new perception? You can make a new perception new for the new the new turn, yeah. Turn? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dirty you slutty little twenty. Alright. Uh Abigail, you go over to Alberion? Yeah. He's like standing like arms crossed, kind of looking very his eyes are narrowed. He's just studying Marcus upside down. Uh, upside down. Up and down. Um, <laughs> yeah, so also, painted like a bat. You just see how barren he just randomly just goes, whoop. <laughs> just, yeah. just like, Spider-Man. Hmm. Does the Spider-Man he just, pose. He, he, yep. he just flips like a, like a vector image. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so with, also with the new turn, Callie's going to hold all uh, four of her additional attacks. Just all right. to be ready. All right. Are you? What something? Something's wrong here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Astute no. observation. I mean, we should go. Yes, that's exactly what I was going to say. Now, who needs to come? Because I would really like to see Histon. <laughs> <laughs> Wellington, we're going now. Now. But okay. He's going to he, just he, he son he like he's he he looks at Alfie and goes I I guess I'll see you later. Yeah maybe yes. uh, hopefully see you soon. He one. he's very he like hearing that and he's very confused but like Kind of looks over at her and then walks over to Alberian. Why do I have a feeling that TikTok you shared is like, I want this for Terrell is actually going to be happening to, to Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. I am Mar- him. <clears throat> um, Marcus, Marcus is, is, a giant, is a demon lady with big titties. So it's like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh no. Anywho. Um, okay, so you're going over I to Callie. Think- Wellington's going over to Callie. No, Markham, No, Wellington oh. is going over to Abigail. Oh. No, I'm going over to Alberian, who called me and said we're going. Oh no, no, no. he's he's still standing over <laughs> near, kind of relatively near Marcus, just you know, kind of behind him as he passed him and just watching. Yes, him. he hasn't. Moved he would from go. He he would go over and like tuck behind Alberian. Okay, like he would he would kind of go a little bit of a as like much- a longer way. Much if he space. needs to, if I need to double move to do that, like that will be my action. Okay, is just kind of like enough. going yeah, like you can tuck behind him. You can tuck behind him. Head to the door. Head there now. 
Did I have to double move to do that? What I did. To get to Alberion, no. To get to the door, yes. Oh, no. I just missed each step. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> Abigail? Uh, his apprentices are already heading to the door. <laughs> is, he, <laughs> is he addressing Abigail? Yeah. I'm not the one he should be afraid of. And he'll look to both Abigail and Sir Wellington, which is absolute hate in his eyes. He just kind of looks back at him like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and she looks back to Alberion. Was he asking her something or to go to the door? No, he was saying to go to the door. Go to he, the door. Like, Trust me. Am, am, I, am I aware that Marcus is saying this about me? Yes. I I just He's I just go look. <laughs> yeah, I just turn around and go, you know, this is why I never wanted to show my true form to people. And he just turns around and keeps going. Aww. <laughs> look, you made him cry. She'll go as well. Callie. Callie. Ca shut up, Callie. Is she still talking? I yeah, I. she's going to stop for a second mm. as she's being summoned. And just still maintain blazing eye contact with Marcus. It's just, I didn't leave him before. I'm not leaving him now. Go. There's something wrong with you. Go! She's doing she's doing the thing where she's like tenses and like whenever you scream at a teenager they're trying not to cry and they're like big oh. and tough and they're just no I'm not oh, gonna no. do it I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it but she's still like there. Been alone all my life. I'm used to it. You can go. Oof. Unfortunately for you, I'm not going to. As everyone else kind of files out, Dolores kind of shooting a glance, worried glance back at this scene uh, as she follows closely behind Abigail. Um, Alf Dean will grab Deidre and they'll just vanish. Um, and then Albarian is going to ready his wizard staff and, um, and place himself between Marcus and the exit. Um, it is now past Callie's next turn. Marcus, you are up. He's going to look over at Alberion and go, Really? That's how this ends. You are toying with things you do not understand. By the gods, you have fucking Abigail with you. Not the one you knew. Oh, really? I would have loved to see that when, oh, I don't know. When she went in with one of our own and came out by herself. Uh, when she disappeared for long bits of time. Uh, oh, how about this? This is a real fucking laugh. When I was told by a fucking goddess that I fucking trusted that there is some light in her. And you know what happened? She stuffed my pack full of demonic devilish things and i <laughs> here here is the funny bit got kicked out of sanctuary for her shit and now you will defend someone who not only participated in a ritual that i know has sent something worse than anything i have ever fucking seen you'll defend the woman who is about to have the blood of millions and say, I am meddling. All of you are fucking ridiculous. Does Abigail hear that? Yeah, uh, give me a perception check as you go up. Same with uh, Sir Wellington. Why well, was at the door? Well, yeah, you nope. guys are. 
I rolled a five. I got a four. Okay. I got five. Nope. He he hears angry voices coming from Marcus, and that's it. Fifteen. Fifteen. He, he's he's you. I, I'll put it this, this way. He af, af, after what he heard, he he basically has tuned out Marcus because he's just hurt. Ouch. Uh, Abigail, Abigail does hear the entire conversation. Um, Alberion um just shakes his head and says. She's not the person you knew. These, this blood is on her hands, yes. And you would let her walk free? I would let her correct her mistakes. The only correction that was needed was for her to die. And you... Something saved her. <laughs> her dark master, her... That one... Someone did even though she deserves to be burning in the hells at this moment. I think out of everyone, anyone else here who would understand what... I have a fucking tail, Marcus, because of her experimentation. Then you should be with me. You should be beating her ass in instead of sending me into the fucking wall. If anyone... I have done nothing for you besides try to help you. Try to help everyone. So let me help you. You want to help me? Go over and cave Abigail's head in. No. That's not going to help you. Then get out of my fucking way. Then you'll have to move me. Callie, don't make me do this. Out of everyone, you deserve to get out of here. Please. Just move. No. Not until you see things clearly. Can I get a... a um... oh. Go ahead. Callie, make a wisdom save. I need a wisdom check from Marcus as well. Can I also walk back in? You can if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> no, I will. <laughs> that, is Listen, a, that is a I don't slutty make good 20 decisions. for me. 21. That is a slutty 20 for me. Yeah, you save. As far as you know, this might not even be Callie. This could be them fucking with your mind. On a t Holy shit. He goes, he looks and goes, are you... Because the Callie you know never would have dared to side with Abigail. I'm being tricked again. He's just, he's not even gonna, like, as he sees a spell. Little instigator. He's just gonna walk <laughs> away and go, I'm being tricked again. I got tricked by Abigail. I got tricked by Sir Willington. I'm just being tricked again. You're, you're probably not even, you're just an illusion. Cause the, yeah, cause the Callie I know, would never have sided with someone like, I'm just being tricked. Oh, Baryon, is this your doing? Is this that one chick's doing that just disappeared? Oh, my. I gotta, I gotta fucking admit, magic can do some fan fucking tastic things. I never should have come. All I wanted to do was help it. This happens. <laughs> ah, just, you know, I just gotta do some selfish shit. It'll never be him or Mary. Is there any other way besides the door? Um, there does not appear, uh, no, no, from your experience earlier, no, that is the only way out. Just let me out of here. I just, I just need to go on a walk, get this all bullshit out. I 
And if Abigail and that little demon know what's good for them, they're already gone by now. She's in the room. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah, right, right there. You can see her right behind you. <laughs> oh. Fucking... <laughs> oh. Hit. That is as, a, can as, I soon make you, as soon as you go to hit, I am still holding my action. Can I also make a check as I'm listening? I don't know if it's medicine or what. This dude seems not like the Marcus that she remembers. Can she vibe check to see what's off? What's go wrong? For it. Give me a uh, give me a perception <laughs> check. Vibe perception. check. A vibe check, please. I would What's... like to call vibe check. Ayo, hey, vibe this guy. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, there's definitely so he's. It appears to be that he is fueled by hatred for you that has been seething and key, the only thing keeping him going for months now. Um, you felt similar levels of hate in your life. Um, but he is taking this a step farther than even you have been known to do. Sip. Great question, Matt. Is uh, is your Morning Star a one or two handed weapon? It's a one handed weapon. That's what I thought. Okay, thank you. I. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The two kids are, are have, were stand have been standing in like the doorway behind you, watching this whole thing unfold. <laughs> oh jeez, how are they doing? They're looking <laughs> rather shaken. Um, they kind of like backed away nervously when Sir Wellington went by, but they're waiting to see what you're gonna do. They seem to be looking to you for leadership. <clears throat> She's gonna. Is he it's instantly attacking, or she say something? If he tries to attack, I'm. If he tries to attack, I'm hitting him with a nat twenty. With a. <laughs> <laughs> with a nat twenty. <laughs> You're right. You can be as mad as you want, Marcus. If you do all you want to do, the only thing that's going to happen is that you'll. I don't know. Feel better for a little bit. And then have to find something else to do? I have a plan. When you're dead, I'm gonna try to find a way off this island. By I was myself. trying to find one too. By damning everyone. That is such a good fucking plan. It wasn't. What? <sighs> Get it out of it be willing to sacrifice. I should have struck you down the moment you came out of that door alone. Probably. Let me see, because he knows Callie is... Okay, yeah. So he is smart. He is smart enough to know that, like, Callie will attack him. <laughs> if he attacks, so he just. I'm here. I'm a threat. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just gonna stand there. He's good. He's looking at Callie as he says this. Until you start acting normal again. Uh, Barion, why I did that lady you. run? That big lady. Why did she run? Is there something off about you? Uh, what did, did Callie pick up on that? Well, she... Very obvious. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the fucking Archfey right. nope the fuck out of there. So it's like, yeah, you're a problem. Smart? Why did she run? Because you have tinkered with something that you did not understand, and you uh, have... This same bullshit answer, just... Marcus, that gonna... armor you are wearing is steeped in magical lore. And? And I think it's made you more powerful than you realize. Though I'm not yet sure why. 
not have hmm. And what is this armor that gives me so much power per se? Tell me, I'm very interested. Wait, what was the question? I didn't understand. <laughs> oh, he's basically like, what the fuck is the armor? What the fuck is the armor? Pretty um, much, yeah. Like, if, basically, I, let me tell you guys, like, if it's so full of magic lore, are you going to tell me what it is? So I know. I would need time to study it. So you don't know. Hmm. Just like you don't know how to get off this island. Just like... I don't know. Well, if it see... If it made me more powerful than I should be, I guess that means I should try and see how powerful it actually made me, right? Slippery slope, Marcus. Well, considering you just beat my ass every time I try to do something, I'm overwhelmed, I'm beaten down, I might as well have a little bit of a boost. And can he roll anything to find out more about the armor at this point? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what to... Arcana? Religion? Perception? Um... Let's do Arcana. Let's do Arcana. Okay. Ooh, okay. That is a 19. Can we as well? Okay. Um, yeah, I'll allow it. Ooh, look at me. Proficient in Arcana. Ooh. <laughs> 11. <laughs> Nat 20. I know what the fuck is up. <laughs> the 26. Nice. I know what the fuck is up. All right. What'd you roll? Who? All right, let's start with Callie because I think you got a really high one. Oh yeah, twenty six. All right, not twenty. Um, this has significantly boosted his strength and determine uh, strength and willpower essentially. Um, okay. He is juiced up on this armor. <laughs> uh, Abigail, what'd you roll? A whole eleven. Whole eleven. You can't really get. It. You know it's magical. You know it somehow has made him stronger. He just broke Magic chains armor. magically created by a archfey. That's odd. Um, Marcus, I DM'd you. All right. Oh. You feel power and confidence flowing through you like you've never felt before. You know what you need to do, and you know what you want to do. And you don't feel like anyone can stop you. You know what? I don't need you to tell me what this is, because it feels fucking good. And with that, he is definitely going to cast another fucking uh, Guiding Bolt at Abigail. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> Take 20 points of damage. All right. <laughs> yeah, that is... Hold on, let me see what the fourth level is, because I think it's 7... D... 6? Hold on. Let me actually see here. Oh, wait. 8 times 6. Oh, yeah, no, that's 48. Sorry, my brain... So, 45, no, 50, 42. Yeah, no, 42. You're a fool. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> you may kill that. this bitch. <laughs> you uh, may kill this bitch. Uh, seven times six, so 35, and then plus seven. That's 42. Yeah, so that's 42 total damage to Abigail. She's all right. Well, so then barely. Marcus. So then Marcus can take thirty points of damage as Callie beats him. 
Okay. With a natural with a natural twenty for twenty damage and an unnatural twenty for just ten. Nice. Oh shit. These are all unarmed, by the way, because she's yeah, trying so to like no focus. Twenty. Don't don't worry about the squishy wizards. All right. Yeah, he takes them. Right, your your AC is fucking twenty one, isn't it? So only the nat twenty hits. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. So only the nat so only twenty points, and then she's gonna like hit him, and I'm like, oh fuck. You know, he just takes it, like he just absolutely takes it. And goes, ah, my turn. And he is going to full on smack her with the mace. He's attacking smack Callie. Her, sorry. Yeah. Rude. Do Ooh, not do it. Sight. Um. Ooh. Uh, holy crap! I forgot that it has that much. That's a twenty-eight. Yeah, so, that just just a little bit. <laughs> so take uh, <laughs> just a little bit. seventeen damage of just Marcus swaining this thing onto you. Whacking. Um. And uh, hold on, I need to look something up real quick. I also I'm not high enough, monk. You're a what? I'm not high. I'm not high enough, monk. I don't have evasion. Also, oh, no. when Marcus hits you, he staggers you. He moves you five feet to the right as he hits you. Whoa! You get pushed. You got pushed. Hey, Sir Wellington, as you are heading out, can you give me a perception mm -hmm. check? Yes. Oh, can Marcus also make a con con save? Yeah. That is a nat 20. Well, sh fuck me then. Um, That is going to be a 12. A 12. Yeah. All right. I don't have the best perception. I have a plus one. Uh, it's okay. I'm sending you a thing. <clears throat> you, you hit the DC. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, it's nice that I actually like notice. Oh, that's is what true. I mean, yeah, so. you've been rolling really low. Just in general, my perception is not the best. Unless I get lucky and get a high roll, I'm not going to see much. Fair enough. <clears throat> Well, it's, I don't know if, you know, it being audio, audio based helps. No, it doesn't make really any difference. Yeah, that's fair. This side, do you? Is walking. Oh, he I looks could be at making, the other. I could be making so many more attacks. Oh my he God. looks at the others. He's like, "You're hearing this right. It's not just me." Uh the the young mages around you. They like they draw their wands and their staves, and they're kind of looking around nervously. Um, Dolores immediately draws her wand and kind of is, is looking around uncomfortably. <laughs> um, she looks down and goes, "Oh no, we hear it." Um, okay, uh, I think that brings us to Abigail's turn, but Abigail's not here right now. Um, we'll go to Callie. Um, Hello. Uh, actually, first I need a wisdom saving throw from Marcus. Okay. Uh, that is a... I need some battle music. Hold on. 18 plus 9. 27. 
Yeah, you hear fuck from Alberion. Wait, that's a wisdom saving throw or perception? It was a wisdom saving throw. Oh, yeah, no. He got 27. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, Callie's turn. I'm going to rage again. All right. We are now a bright ass. We're, she's normally a candle. Now we're approaching campfire. And I am not I really as a bonus action, but prepping for next turn. I'm she's going to pop a tablet into her mouth and then hit with her bow staff again. How far out of curiosity quickly because I wouldn't know how far away am I from Alberian and the others? You're probably about you've gone maybe 30 feet up the stairs now. Well, are you are so, you just like, using your full movement each each turn? Probably. They, yeah, then you're, you're probably 30 to 60 feet up the stairs. No, 60 30, feet, because it's 30. been a couple of rounds at this Damn point. Damn it! We'll say 30. We'll say 30. Okay. Uh, n Well, yeah, so uh, I would just... <laughs> so, yeah, about 30, 45 feet away from them, 30 feet up the stairs. Wait, is... 40, what? We're, we're 45 feet away from them? 45 feet away from Alberion. Where Alberion is... Uh yeah, forty five feet away from about where Alberion is, thirty feet from the stairway uh, entrance to the room. The, okay, uh, no, I just I when I here in the lap before we moved over, I'd be like, quickly, we need to go, just go back down really quick. Yeah, you can it'll take one. half a second to I tell them, like I tell them, we all need to go back down real quick, so we can. Dolores is gonna look at him like, you sure? It will take six seconds. All right. All right. We'll do it we'll quickly. Yeah. So that's a 25 to hit. That does hit. So take 20 points of damage. And again. Stop being cocked. It's another 25. Take another uh, 20 points of damage. Uh, I'm trying to get Marcus away from the door, so I am going to spend... Oh, it, do it, do it don't even cost me key points. <laughs> uh, to push again. So one. What, so do I need to make a strength check then, or? Yeah, hold place. Oh, it does cost me a key point. Never mind. Um. So two two unarmed strikes. That is going to stop being cocked. That first one doesn't hit. Uh, second one is. 24 so you're gonna hit get hit for another 10 and then you can make a what is it what is it it's a strength saving throw okay that is a 23 yeah he doesn't move but you do get hit real good now mark him question okay are we counting the over 20s as being critical hits? In the no. sense of... No. Okay. No, okay, they, so just, they, they just deal they, full they, double they, damage. No, they just okay. deal full damage. No, they, they deal full, full damage, damage yeah, not double yeah. damage. Yeah. yeah, full damage in the nat 20s. Okay, got it. Got it. So I can't use that just yet. There's time. I will say... Oh, Wait. Take an additional six damage because I'm raging. Oh yeah, true. Okay, it's been done. At this point, Marcus should be down, but he's not. Yeah, he, he looks like he's. Oh, go ahead. I'll let you. You know, he just you hit him, and it's you get good hits in, and he just goes and just 
wipes off a little bit of blood that just popped up and goes, I gotta admit, mighty impressive. Don't southern threaten me. Feel like you're on the porch with a shotgun right now, about to be <laughs> like, you know what? You know what, son? You could have had a good meal. If any of y'all have seen the the uh or played the uh fucking Telltale Walking Dead, you're that cannibal family. That's the yeah. vibes I'm getting right now. I'm scared. <laughs> you got you have a man with no legs in your bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that is an amazing game, and I still play that. Anyway, it's a really good game. Uh, yeah, that's Callie Stern. She can't do anything else. All, All right. right, that brings us to the wonderful Marcus. Uh, he is going to hit. No way. Oh no, yeah, we already said so. It's it's Sir Wellington's turn technically, but we already went over. He's um. running back down. Would that have been, I thought that well, that would have been his that movement. The, that would have been his movement. Okay. So now so he's then down our there. movement, yeah. yeah, we go down. I'm just quickly casting Rary's telepathic bond because as long as I'm within, so it's as long once we hit, I know we're in thirty feet of mm-hmm. Alberian, at, at least Alberian. Okay. Ideally, the other two as well. I'm okay. casting Rary's telepathic bond, and so it's me, the the three of them. So that's four, and then I'm okay. guessing there's four with me. Yeah, how many that, are with me? Something like that. I think. Let's see. Was, uh, there's three with you. Okay, perfect. So I'm just hitting all of them, as well, and uh, as long as they're willing, which I'm guessing they will be, with it, it's just we're able to communicate telepathically between each other, and start moving the other way again. And I, in my head, I just go, Avarian, where do you want me to go? Uh, Where do you want me to take them? Uh, his his reply is going to be out of here and across the fe- out of here and across the plains quickly, as far away as you can. Okay, uh, just quickly because I wouldn't know this in my head roughly. The entrance to sanctuary. How far away is it? Like where? Like is it across From the here, plains? It was about a two month hike. Yeah, is so it across the plains? Everything's across the plains at this point. Okay. Because the lava plains are what surrounds this castle, and then beyond that, you have um, the mountains and the hill country, and you know everywhere that you've been beyond this place. So the lava plains okay. are just what surrounds this area. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Uh, now it's now it's Marcus's turn. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh... Come on, Dad, hit me. Hit me. All right. Do it. Oh, so close. Uh, as he takes this, gonna go. Huh. Don't know I could hit as hard as you with that, but at least I got this. And he's gonna just hold up his hand and cast his last level four guiding bolt. So that can I counterspell is... that? You can try, sure. Yeah. Well, it's a level four. Can I just, or do I have to roll? Are you no, casting you, it if, at level four? What le- yeah. What level are you casting counterspell at? Yeah. Four? Might as well. Four? Then yeah. No. If I think it's the same rules apply as if, if it's, it's the same level. If it's the same it, level, then yeah, you cancel it. Auto, auto success. Okay, yeah. If he starts casting that thing, that thing hurt. I'm almost dead. I don't yeah. want him to guess it at Kelly. That's fair. <laughs> Counter spell. <laughs> Counter spell. <laughs> gonna look at Abigail. <laughs> you go. Huh. And then. Uh, snap his fingers <laughs> as hey, is my skeleton hitting? <laughs> Do you want it to? You haven't given any orders. I forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to die, so yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, right. uh, Matt. Baby. He is going to <laughs> uh, summon a because this is a Okay, question with spiritual weapon. Uh-huh. Yeah, when you cast a spell, 
Mm -hmm. make, okay, yeah. You can't make an attack. So he's going to cast. So he's going to do this on your next. Actually. On your next, you, it costs a bonus action to, to cast it, and then on the next turn, you can, it will act willingly. It will act on its own. Wait, it says when he casts a spell, when he casts the spell as a spiritual weapon, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within yeah. five feet of the weapon. Mm -hmm. So I can make it and then roll for attack, right? On the next turn. It's a bonus action to summon it. And then you can have your full turn, and the spiritual weapon also has its attack. Wait, it's uh, basically like a free attack. So you... So wait. It's a bonus action for you to summon it. Yeah. Summon it, bring it to existence, and then that's your turn. So it doesn't the spiritual weapon, attack, the spiritual, No, the spiritual weapon acts on your turn. No. Okay. He has a spell you can... My understanding was Matt's understanding of it as well that it attacks yeah. the same time it comes in. Yeah. Like it like that's the only time. And then after that, you do have, you have to, to like use your bonus action it. to do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Not it's it's a mar it's a mar it's a market it's a markham DM decision. That's what I'm reading. I'm reading it right <laughs> now. Patience. Mr. DM man. Yeah, I can read it. I can... When you cast the spell, you can make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of where the weapon appears. Okay. Okay. And then, as a bonus action on your turn, you can you can recast. Uh, you can make it attack <clears> again. <throat> okay. Yeah. So, as he snaps his fingers, so yeah, he full on summons this morning exact copy of his morning star, but spiritual of course he in does. front of you. Gosh, he's going and... full dark mode. That is a uh, twenty. <laughs> that is. Hey man, if a... it starts with the two, it hits. I'll just say that. <laughs> well, just so you know. No, I it don't want to know. Twenty-four. Hmm. And uh, <laughs> you take. Uh, hold on. Eight plus five. Is it more than Thir seven? You take thirteen <laughs> points of damage. Uh, okay, I... she's down. Oh, <laughs> oh God. So he. And so <laughs> goes her skeleton. Is it skeleton? True. Skeleton is skeleton concentration. Good question. That is a very good question. So. I don't think so because he's summoned. I think no, it's until he. No, dies. it's until his health points hit zero. So the skeleton oh, okay. just looks Wait. and it's like, eh. Wait, but I'm it does free. say it does say duration concentration up to one hour. Oh, yeah, oh so yeah. So you, yeah, it's oh, because good. it's because it's not. It's a yeah, summon. He undead, watches you fall gonna... and then he looks up and he just falls into a pile of bones. He <laughs> sees. Oh, he sees that. This happened, go. Gods, that felt good. Now something is wrong. Marcus doesn't like to kill. This is weird. Give now me a, a give problem. me a perception check though. Callie? Yeah. <clears throat> Fourteen. This does not appear to be any sort of magical spell he's under. He genuinely is enjoying this. That's even more concerning. <laughs> hey. Who traumatized one of my dads? I only have three. And I, lost I didn't do two of them. anything. I only sacrificed people and then I said sorry. <laughs> and summoned fucking Rhonda. Anyway. And I can, said and sorry. <laughs> okay and did only some minor human experimentation yeah that wasn't me that wasn't me that I'm was still my you. ally uh, uh, I'm sorry who you I now hate you have a child you with her yeah but I don't know that <laughs> and, oh Abigail doesn't know that one more thing it. sorry as he says this it goes well she down I can go now and you guys can do whatever the fuck you guys are gonna do. It's not Kelly's turn, but I have things to say. <laughs> but it's only gonna it's only gonna be cool if it happens on her turn. It's only gonna be cool if it happens on her turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't think she hasn't done this in so long, and I don't think. Yeah, I don't think Marcus was there to see it. All right. All right. 
Um, I'll I'll be cryptic. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, whose turn does that bring it to Abigail? But she's down. All right, Callie, you're uh, you're up. The way. Oh, is it anything else? Well, what about Sir Wellington? Uh, oh, he's oh, a, no, he's, he's before me. Yeah. Yeah. No, huh? he he can't do much else. So, because he tried to cast a spell. Uh, he tried God to counter cast spell. A, God counter spell. Yep. Did a magic weapon and knocked out Na- Naz. Mm-hmm. Abigail. Naz personally. Naz personally. <laughs> hey, yo, Naz like, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Naz's like, I'm going. <laughs> All right. Um, do I roll a save? De- roll a death save, yes. Okay. Alberian just kind of sitting there just watching you die. She's like, oh, well, it that's is what I told you turn. to leave. You're right. Alberion is yeah, first. Alberion's turn. Alberion yeah, is going turn. to turn to Mar- Sir Wellington. Is going to say, take Abigail. Get her out of here and get her stuff. We're not in there. We're, we're like far enough yeah, they're, away. They're gone. We're leaving. We, we, oh, you we already just, left. Yeah. We, it's we, just oh. Alberion in a passed out Abigail. Okay. Um, Markham, I I went to the area where I knew I was within thirty feet of of them, and I went. Oh. Bump. Okay, we're back because oh, we were told smart. to leave. You're very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Because I I just needed the telepathic connection. Because once we have that, like I just need the thirty feet to cast it. As long as we are on the same plane of existence for an hour, we can communicate telepathically. All right. Um. I will. We will know that Abigail's gone though, because all of a sudden the connection is gonna go. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Really you get a fine line reading. What was what was your first death save? Twelve. Okay. What? That's one one for stabilizing. One um, success. Okay. In that case, he's going to turn. He's going to just kind of glance at Callie. He's going to say, "Callie, get Abigail out of here. Run now." I'm not leaving. She's raging, so she's ready to fight. Ready to go. I didn't abandon him before. I'm not abandoning him now. All right. Banished. <laughs> Banished. Banished. Send, send her back to the plane of fire. <laughs> <laughs> ah, beans. How did I end hmm. up here? All right. Ah, beans. Oh, I really hope beans doesn't show up. Oh, boy. Um... Who's beans? Only Markham knows that one. Beans is not fun. Oh no! Forgot yeah, beans. yeah. I forgot about beans. Uh, okay. Be- beans is a uh, is a character from the Cantrip Cast uh, stuff, and he is he's actually the Lord of the uh, I think he's the Lord of the Fey Realm in uh. No, he's the realm, he's the lord of the Shadowfell in uh, oh. the Cantrip Cast world now. Oh, His name's no. Beans. He's a little he's a little goblin boy with like uh, that was experimented on. So he has a squirrel tail and all that, and like demon wings. He, yeah. Okay. Um, can I get a perception check from Callie, please? Another one. Yes. All right. What's twenty one? All right. Um. Oh, it will be a disadvantage because she's raging. Gotta be consistent <laughs> with that. Seventeen. Okay, that's still enough. Uh, he appears to be working on some sort of spell, and the look in his eyes is very urgent. He wants you to get Abigail out of here. It is your turn, though. So whatever you want to do. Um, he is going to cast. I am going to need. You know what? He's going to he's going to do a um. Uh, mm, we're just going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to roll to hit. Okay. Oh, you know what? Better yet. Ooh, that would hurt more. Yeah, no. Uh, he is going to reach oh, out what? and blast a um, 
so he's kind of like it looks like he's working on a spell Callie notices he's working on a spell with his right hand and with his left he conjures this small um greenish orb go with uh kind of almost an emerald in co- color and then psh, this spr- this streak of acidic almost lightning shoots towards um shoots marcus. towards marcus shoots past him and explodes in a 20 foot radius feet it's massive so it but he aims into the back room so it splashes out and it'll hit marcus from the back but it won't hit you. He very carefully aimed it. Um, and uh, you're starting to understand his, he has a lot of area of effect spells and he doesn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> um, I need a dex save from Marcus. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, that is a 19. <laughs> Meets it, beats it. You dodge out of the way and it... It that the acid just melts the ground around it, and um, you not a speck of it gets on you. <laughs> you just gotta look it up, area. Tricky little fuck, aren't you? Callie, it's your turn. Okay, so. We're going to use the bow staff the way it was intended, and she's going to, with the tablet that she put into her mouth, she's going, not now, I'm busy fighting. <laughs> Spam collar. Yeah. Um, with the tablet she put into her mouth, she is going to turn her bow staff into a mace. All right. By blowing glass into the end of it, so now the end of her bow staff has the head of a mace onto it. That is awesome. That's awesome. She's cool. She's pretty cool. She is. Um, we love Callie. Mm-hmm. She's also kind of hot. Uh, I will Do never it. not make that pun. Do it. Yep. And she's going to hit him for a natural 20. You're going to get so boned. Ah! Okay, so that is It's 10 points of, yeah, 10 point, 20 points of bludgeoning because doubled because that's 20. 20 points of bludgeoning and 40 points of fire damage as molten glass covers you. And the head of the, of the mace splatters because it's still molten glass. <laughs> he, he's burnt. It hurts. Still up. Yeah, I know you are. But because of this actual critical, and we're going to great weapon master attack, he <laughs> make one melee, another melee weapon attack. With another natural fucking 20. You are not 20 so all 20s. over the place. I don't know. I am just, the gods have blessed me today. So 20 again, right? So 20 again. So you will get hit for another, yeah, another 20 points. And then that was just her. That was just her first attack. <laughs> she still has another attack. This isn't even with my her, final form. <laughs> with her bow staff, which is not a natural twenty, but it's pretty damn close. It's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. All right. That's another ten points of damage. Uh, yeah. And now... I'm... I can't disengage, so he will get... I, yep, because Step of the Wind is a bonus action. I've already used my bonus action for Great Weapon Master. So he will get an opportunity attack on me, but I will run to go to Abigail. All right, okay. you get an opportunity attack. Oh, that, that's a fucking nat 20 for that. Of well, Jenny, so that is a, well, let's see, 17. Wait, 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 hold your, hold your horses, sir. What? No, I can't use it for that. Never mind, go on. Uh, 17 times 2, that's 
34. Yeah. So as you run, Marcus just absolutely freaking hits you right square in the back, like right along the spine for 34 damage. That's not nice. It's not nice, but you know what? Your girl's still up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, actually, we haven't even hit half yet. Let's go. You can't do shit to me, bro! Uh, So wait, because he hit with an opportunity attack, her movement stops. Right? Uh, That's the rule? I think so. And he, she also moves like five feet Oh, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right, because he pushes her five feet. Yeah, so he'll push her, like, as he's moving, he's pushing her to the... So as she's turning, move her to the right a little he's bit. Five knocked feet. away, like, knocked away from yeah, where Abigail away. is? He's like, uh, okay. uh, 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 we ain't done. Great, I'm a target. I'm a... He I'm doesn't... A give me a perception check for Callie. And Sir Wellington, as you're heading up the stairs, it's your turn now. Give me another perception check. Twenty one. This time with an advantage since okay. you now know what you're looking for. Oh. Uh for no 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 for Sir Wellington. Eighteen. Okay. Sir Wellington gets the advantage. Callie, you're good. Twenty one? No, adva- advantage. Yeah, okay. I'm glad the next one was in that one. So eighteen. Oh nice, nice. Um, okay, sweet. Sir Wellington, I'll get to you in just a second. Callie, oh wait, you have to be at disadvantage. Um, because of the raging. Because I um, am raging. I I do have something hey, I'm going to be doing on my turn. Okay. That is still in, just a 19, though. Okay. Okay. Um, Marcus is looking at you like he doesn't believe you're you. That's a problem. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The same way he looked at Sir Wellington when he thought he was a demon, uh, uh, thinking he's a demon. Neat. I'm five feet away from him so am, theoretically would i still be within melee range of him yes 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 okay so yeah, i could yeah you could leap at him basically um okay five yeah, so feet, i know so in case he... it, a rule rule wise five feet is melee yeah basically okay so um, so yeah he, yes, he in case the he right, moves so still right. be five feet yeah in case he yes, moves, so you get just in case he moves I, st- I still get our opportunity right okay yeah, so yeah, Wellington, yeah, what are you yeah, doing yeah. Uh, so the others are right next to me, yeah? hmm Are we far, like, there, are there any other enemies around us, or are we just there? Um, with an 18, as you come up to the next floor, you see undead and devils kind of running around. But like the stormtroopers at the end of episode 6 on the Death Star, they're not paying you any mind. Yeah, they that's fine. trying to get out of the building. Yeah, we we are too. We, I'm I'm smacking down <laughs> on the ground, <laughs> and I cast teleport, and hey. um, I'm going to teleport us to like the uh canyon entrance to sanctuary. All right. Oh go by. shoot! Nice. All I've right. been there. I know exactly that's where it true. is. So yep, yep, that's true. All right. I go, boom. Yeah. Boom! You guys are now a two-month hike away from the rest of the party. <laughs> I I go I'll be, I, in my head, and that's why I cast tele, Rary's telepathic bond. Yeah, because I can still communicate yep. with him. And I go, "Hey, we are like a two-month hike away at uh, near Sanctuary. I'm I know that they should at least be able to get in. Hopefully, I don't know if I will. I'm gonna see." But yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. That's a, so. So Callie hears this as well now. I mean, I just I say that, and like every <laughs> like everyone's hearing it in, in their head. So can they reply? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be It's 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 Good. it's like connection find between safety, everyone. Find friends. Tell you what, if this works out as well, this is the best thing for you, Markham. Mm -hmm. Because if Cole actually can come back, (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm right here. I'm right here, and I can just be like, 
you, you need to come with us. <laughs> yep. and, but I will say, as we as we land, I just my ring back on. Come on, gnome boy. Mm-hmm. And now I I look like gnome boy again. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Abigail, death save. So I forgot to have you do that. Oh yeah. And then is it my turn again? Or now it's your turn again. Alright. Oh no. So you got one one fail, one save? Yeah. Bling bling. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay. I was coming right. and then I got whacked. Okay. So this is so First off, I'm mo- I'm using my bonus action to move the uh, spiritual weapon to uh, Callie now because Abigail is kind of out of commission. Mm-hmm. Uh, first roll was another nat twenty. Ow! Stop. So, so uh, take thirty four damage again, and then take. <laughs> Oh boy, I hate doing this. Take uh, 13 damage again as the mace from behind smacks you again. And you are pushed five feet again to the right. We're still up, boys. Marcus is. You are. Marcus, right. Go ahead. Right now, he's just like. Oh, wait, all this is happening because I'm raging. Fuck you. Half it all was it raging. Total? Right, yeah, that's true. Half it all was it raging. How, how much was it in total? Like, uh, hold on, forty-three. Wait, hold on. Now I gotta do math. Okay, math. Nine, Seventeen plus seven. That's thirty-four, and then plus the thirteen. So total is forty-seven. Wait. Okay. So yeah. So then 47. I. So then I took. So I should have only taken twenty-three. Yeah, twenty three or twenty four. So whatever. I heal. Yeah, so I heal twenty four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. We are a okay. I forgot I'm raging, and that's a thing that happens. I haven't played Barbarian in so long. <laughs> right. <laughs> Since Rakia, Rakia was my last Barbarian that that's I played. That's true. Yeah, that's you true. realize how sad I am? Oh my god. That's fair. Fuck yeah, raging. So I should have way more health than I currently do. You know, because you get resistance even against magical weapons, right? Yeah. 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 Callie's a tank. So I, yeah, I'm a fucking tank. Mark them your call because I don't remember the numbers. How much health should I gain back? I'll give you another 13 amount? back because he only hit you the, once. The, Another 13, he, yeah, but he not 20 me again. Yeah, but it was only before. like 26 points of damage or something. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was way that more enough. than that. Oh, no, it's 34, I mean, so you gained 17 back. 17 back. Yeah. I was about to say, like, wait okay. All right. Okay. Um, I am a tank. Right? Uh... As he finishes this, uh, Marcus, you begin to glow with a radiant energy. Um, he okay. looks like a freaking a, a dark angel, but an angel at this point, uh, with his black armor and stuff. Uh, glow because he's like his skin is practically glowing with radiant energy. It looks like, um, and the armor glows with kind of a reddish, um, like red, almost like veins that seem to pulsate throughout the armor um become noticeable um as uh he he like almost does that you know that that head roll and he looks like he's ready for round two. Oh please don't tell me he does the henry cavill arm reload because <laughs> that's fucking hot if, for no if good he, reason and if I he was a monk that. if he was a monk you bet your ass he would he, but no, he does. Okay, if you hang on, I'm gonna put this in. Um, share this in the chat for you guys. Um, it's hot for no good reason. All right. Um, there's no. There we go. There we go. This is what he does. This is what he does. Okay. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. He does, he does the shoulder oh, roll. The, okay, the, for those the Hayden Crinch see... is, Yeah, so for yes. those of you who couldn't see, it was uh, the scene from the new Ahsoka series where Anakin is flashing spoilers. between Vader. Yeah, um, spoilers. So there's there's a segment where Hayden Christensen does a shoulder roll, essentially. Um, that That's, that's, that's <laughs> what you go. need to know. It is... It is scary and it is That's hot. also unnecessarily um. hot. <laughs> right? Right? I am so glad to see Hayden finally getting the love he deserves. Um, so, so, yeah. Marcus no, he, has turned mm. evil and is doing Hayden Christensen. Dude, he is turning into a fucking No, he's audience. full freaking Anakin. He's, I'm Mr. Nice Boy who doesn't like sand but wants to be good to I'll do whatever the fuck it takes to win. Um, <laughs> you, you're, you're fr- this is your Anakin Skywalker character all the way down to the farm boy characteristic. This, uh, I, yeah, this is, this boy is on you Tatooine. killing, I this gotta is you admit, killing the younglings right now. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is him killing the young. I mean, he's he tried. He's try, he, he knocked down <laughs> Abigail. He's doing it. Sir Wellington was the smart one. He left. I <laughs> did what I was told. I Honestly, listened to the person that I trusted, and I was. He said, "Get out of here." That you know, I don't know why the other two, when they see an arch. Faye go, nope. <laughs> when the arch Faye goes, fuck this, I'm out. Um, you that guys is buying don't... time. There's a reason she's doing what she's doing. Uh, Marcus, uh, for the rest Could of combat, you get an additional action. A whole oh. action? So wait, do I, can I do another action right now? No, Since... it's starting next round. Fair enough. So fair it enough. is Callie's turn. Um, actually, I need another... Um, yeah, I'm just going to roll to attack on this one. He's realizing that you seem to be resistant to all of his, uh, Thames. Yeah. Um, so he's just going to freaking blast you with a spell instead. Um, day, 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 day. what's a good one to hit? Uh, that one is probably, excuse me. Yeah, why not? Uh, all right. Uh, nope, not that one. That's a 20 foot radius. Uh, that'll decimate this entire room. <laughs> um, that's okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. He's gonna, he's gonna conjure a small orb filled with lightning, and he's gonna <laughs> blast it into your back, <laughs> so it'll do double damage. Um, because you're wearing metal, motherfucker, right? <laughs> uh, that is a 24 to hit. That does hit. All right. I forget that's a rule. Right. Lightning damage does double to wearing armor. All right. That is going to be so 46 times two is um, 92 points of damage. He's a level 20. I'm not that impressed anymore. You know, oh. he picked that just. Uh, also, fine. yeah, refresh your character sheet again. Oh. Okay. Those are, so I, those are very scary words to come out of a DM's mouth. I Holy say, I fucking said, I shit. shit! Like I said, he looks like he's ready for round two. Oh. Oh. What? What did you do? What have oh. you done? How many levels did you give him? Oh. 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 Oh fuck. Well, I think we Have just got... met our. I think we just met our BBG. <laughs> yep. Did I just? Am I about to pull a Micah right now and just go hurling myself at God? <laughs> the arch face <laughs> said, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." That was your clue. That is. <laughs> that is true. The arch face literally fucking said, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." I said, Callie looks at her, her and stronger. the arch face showed fear in her eyes. I'm aware. <laughs> Abject terror. She I'm took her aware, daughter and ran. Callie still believes she can save him. Yep. All right. This is, is this the fucking not to? Of course, obviously, doesn't relationship because this is more father daughter. Oh no! This is Luke trying to turn Vader. This is Luke trying this to is, turn Vader. Yeah. It is. It is. Oh <laughs> shit. Okay. All right. And well, Luke, you're up. <laughs> oh and another death save for abigail please because oh. you know don't die you already used up your spare body hey yo 
That's <laughs> four. No. Okay. <laughs> that that <No>. word. <laughs> <laughs> you already used up your spare body. That's terrifying. <laughs> Uh, no, I get Cal it. Callie finger. got a bardic inspiration. <gasps> Bless, I already have Yay! inspiration though, but I'm gonna keep that for later. Save it for later. All right. Thank you. I Thank you so much. You. Yeah, we are having uh, an inner party conflict here. Um, fatal conflict. Um, oh yeah. Also, the paladin is willing to kill anyone cleric. in the path because he no, can no cleric. longer. Cleric. He's a cleric. The cleric can no longer tell. What is an a demonic illusion, and what is are actually his friends? So he's actually killing his friends right now. Well, he successfully downed one. He's downed one. To, to be fair, she wasn't his. That friend. was the one that That's wasn't. True. Really that was the friend. one that was never really his friend. That's wasn't fair. really That's fair. a friend. He's That's Callie, true. however, I give a chance to, but Callie, however, has been his child this whole time and has been trying to yep. no literally knock some sense into him. Yep, yep, you're up. By the way. <clears throat> Neat. So I'm gonna have a cool my own Star Wars badass moment. Okay. I'm going to use <laughs> my uh holy going shit. To use... A lot. Mark Mar Keep Mar Abigail a Horcrux. <laughs> Way too many. Mm -hmm. Um I'm going to wholeness of body. I'm oh, Abigail already like, had a whole Horcrux and then that is awesome. I love that she, feature so she's, much. She's going to pause, take a minute to gather herself. And then she's going to Henry Cavill arm reload and hit yes. him with That it even yet. Ooh, okay. There's the problem with the rolling in my cup is that they get cocked all the time. That's fair. Math's happening 27. So take that, 10 points it. of bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, Now I have to look into this because now, now, now I'm curious. No, if she dies, she comes back as a baby. <laughs> she comes back as a baby. Ah! Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't do this if I wanted to because I'm raging and I can't cast spells. <laughs> I'm a spellcaster. I don't take martial classes. That is a, another twenty-seven to hit you. So take another ten points of bludgeoning. All right. He just. He doesn't even move. He, you hit him, and he just Fucking doesn't even react. He takes it. Uh, yeah, she's within melee, so she can't she can't move away from him at all without invoking more attacks. And that was her bonus action, because her action was wholeness of body. So she's just here now. I already put that gif in. No, you didn't. I didn't see <laughs> yeah, it. You, yes, I yeah, did. It it's right Roll above your words. Well, oh well. Now I did it. Ha, suck it. Okay. <laughs> You're not okay. cool. Guys, so we that, can, that is we, Callie's we can, turn. We can simp over Henry Cavill later. Let's get this going. <laughs> I will always simp over Henry Cavill. You see, there's no, very few same. men who can pull off a mustache like he can. Yeah. That is true. Anyway. All right. Anywho. That brings us to Sir Wellington. Sir Wellington, can you make a perception check for me? As you're two months away from us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Net 20, 21. Woo! Okay, first yeah. of all, first of all, um, okay, so you have the you have the mage, a couple of mages with you that, that had gone up with you. Mm -hmm. Um uh they're kind of looking around nervously. Um you have um By the way, what did what exactly did did Marcus ever give any directions to the uh, two kids who were waiting in the doorway for him, or has he been ignoring them this whole time? He has been ignoring them this whole time. Okay, all right. Um, I'm gonna roll a dice on something. Is he actually good? Okay. Interesting. This this is the most they're not there anymore. Battle music, though. They're not there anymore. Um, Sir Wellington, uh, Dolores is not with you. Instead. Um, 
the uh, the goblin girl ran up and joined you. That was the well, that was your fourth person. Huh? Where did she go? I can I can take up to eight willing people. Oh, eight willing people. Yeah, teleport. Is take up to eight people. Yeah. But yep. fucking Corinne used. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I, I, I could have taken all the guys around me and then the two kids. Oh, okay. Okay. In that case, you took everyone, but Dolores is not with you. No, stop it. Why not? She must have dipped <laughs> off somewhere before you did this. That's Dolores's, that is Dolores' problem. Uh, why? <laughs> You're stressing me out. <laughs> Um, you also, as you look around, you see, before you have time to shimmer into your, your, you know, your gnome form, you see a couple of, um, centaurs just staring at you. And well, at this, at this point, I don't, if they, if, they, if I notice that they've already seen <laughs> yeah, me, you have then, the I'm not even <laughs> then I'm not even going to bother putting it on because they don't, they don't realize then mm -hmm. that this is. A different person. Like, I'm That's the same person. That's a good point. That one of them trots up to you and goes, "What are you?" Rude. Your new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness. There's a lot of shit that's going down on the other side of the continent, and it's not good. And um, we need to we Can need you to ride for a couple months. <laughs> oh, we need to we need to go to, to into sanctuary to talk about people. We I understand that we have to go through a lot of protocol stuff to get in there, but that would be good to uh, go and talk to people and let them know what's going on because I don't know it might affect people in there too. They are staring at him like he is the weirdest thing. Well, he is a raccoonicorn, right? So. He is. Okay. Hey, buddy, it it's not nice to stare. It doesn't get much weirder. The other one kind of trots up. We have never seen <clears throat> your kind before. Yeah. Okay. Well, from one furry creature to another, this is not very cool of you guys. Ah! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Calling out that <laughs> racism, that internalized racism. I'll call him out. And like one puts his hands, his the other crosses arms. They're like, "You are a very strange little creature." Yeah. Okay. Do you want to lead the way, or can I just walk? They kind of look at the mages and the kids. Is this a demon? They're like, "Nope." One of the mages. Hi, like, I'm part fae. <laughs> He's a raccoonicorn. <laughs> a, a what? A raccoon. A straight face. Uh, yeah, yeah. The mage like he's got a straight face. Like he's a raccoonicorn. Do you do you see the unicorn horn right here? And he's like tapping the like little point. A raccoonicorn. <laughs> I have never heard of a raccoonicorn. What in the world is a raccoonicorn? We can discuss well, inside. You need to. You need to be a little bit. You need to read up, and it's in like the little like annals of history. We are not very common. Um, I would get into the whole history, but there's a lot going on right now, and it would probably be really helpful to talk to people. So can we? I mean, just walk and talk, maybe. He's not wrong. I mean, the unicorn species as a whole were wiped out thousands of years ago. We don't know much of that kind. If there are survivors, this is big news. And not it's only is the is the one. is the unicorn rare, is that means if a unicorn is rare, I am even more so. Hey, let's go. All right, let's. let's... Tremel is just like, let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. All right, let's, let's go. Let's, Actually, let's get you back. Come we study shall, me we shall inside. This. Yeah, <laughs> come on, it's inside. That can we go? Can we go inside? That can we go inside? Can we go inside? <laughs> Are we I there am, yet? I am right. so proud to have a hero to villain character now. This is great. Anyway, <laughs> this is yeah, right? Uh, what? What? What do you think? Oh yeah, Vlad was always a villain. That's a good point. This yeah, is a hero to villain. villain character. This is yeah. Um, this is. The and just remember. <laughs> You can't kill her. You can't oh, yeah, kill Callie. No. Not allowed. She right. has to go meet her new mom. Yeah. No, you can. <laughs> Just bring her back. Anyway. Right. Who's going to bring her back? Well, no, you will. She will. Callie's got a little they'll... test tube baby version of herself. Right. There will, um, be, will be a very sad dragonborn and the whole timeline will it combust. Is, right. It How, is Martin's however, turn again. That the fun fact is, test tube version does not have a tail. That is Ooh. true. It would not have a tail. 
All right, Marcus's turn. This will be the last round of the night. All right. Uh, so, seeing mm -hmm. as how he just saw her heal, uh, he You didn't is... see shit. You saw her take a breath. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I guess there was no was... magic involved in that. That was monk shit. It's true. true, monk shit. You can give uh, me a um. You can give a perception check to see if she looks more reset. Okay, that's uh. Seventeen. Disadvantage. You've never seen her do this before. Well, that just means I set a higher DC. Um, she looks like she's kind of like a. She just looked like she was taking a breath. All right. But um, she does look like she's ready for round two. Um, you don't right. know why it doesn't necessarily click for you that the deep breath was, you know, coincided with her feeling better, but she definitely has seemed to get a moment. At least she like took a moment and has reset and now she's ready and she's doing a little bit better because she took a moment to center herself. Um, still, still pissed off though. Mm -hmm. Still pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Still raging. Um, still raging. your move. Don't forget you get an extra action this time. I do. Your move, bitch. All right, so come at me, bro. Now that I remember that all your shit is halved. <laughs> all right, so he is going to see that, like, she, she's ready for round two and go. All right, and uh, hold on. That is a do twenty three. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, thank you for that. That is a that will be a <laughs> twenty-eight. Yeah. And then you yeah. hit over twenty, you hit her. She's not wearing armor. Fair enough. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, so they're all above twenty. So six plus six thirty-six. Plus thirty-six. That's hold on. Got to do math. I. Really fucking hate math. We have girl math, and then you have cleric math, right? <laughs> cleric math. <laughs> okay, and it's have so. Uh, you take about total of. Are we running high or low for damage, Markham? I always round up. Okay. So Marcus just sees you and goes, all right. And you never seen him done this before, but he shoots out two guiding bolts directly into your chest. And as you're hit, you feel the mace swing by and hit you. And you take a total of 43 damage. For three attacks? That's halved. All oh, halved. that's that's after having it. Holy that's shit. That's after having it. Yeah, because full, that's 85. Holy shit. Fun yeah, that's actually would have been damage. up regardless. You you gave a cleric to access to do a fucking spell. Yep. So, yeah. So, yeah, just boom, boom, whap. That is what happens. All right. All right. Um, as you do this, um, Markham, that was not a number to uh, Born Stellar, by the way. Huh? You 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 just said a lot. You did not give a number. Oh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um. Why? Well, Jerry used up her Horcrux. <laughs> um, Abigail. First of all, um, I need a death save from you. Barbarian not going to help her? He's concentrating on something. If he breaks his concentration, things will get really hairy really fast. I see. Oh, yeah. Could be the last one. Could be the last one. It's not. That's a net 20. Let's go. Hey. That's, that's two. That's two. That's two, oh, so, that's two successes. Two. She, she's yeah, stabilized. Stable, she, bitches. She's like, yeah, she's like twitching. Well, I stuff. wouldn't go that far. She's she's, she's not stable. conscious, but she's stable. Um, she's not dying Basically, anymore. that hey, last. Hey, she's not kicking because we're on Twitch. She's twitching. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Um, she, yeah, the last blast of magical, just everything banging through the room kind of, like, shifted her, and, like, a, a rib that was piercing her lung wrong kind of, like, bing, and then she was able to start breathing again properly. <laughs> don't be, Corrected it, so. Well, okay, anyways. I don't know. It was, you know, <laughs> she got shifted just into the right position. <laughs> okay. Quite by accident. Um, sure. All right. Uh, and so I'm going to need, well, we will end, we'll actually end there. So as Sir Wellington, you're being taken back through the entire process of being vetted. Um, <laughs> Abigail, you are unconscious, but stable. A figure is now coming down the stairs uh, that no one has yet noticed. Alberion is concentrating very hard while he is conjuring another orb to blast Marcus with. And Marcus and Callie are locked in a very, literally, heated duel. <sighs> Catch us next week for part two of whatever this was. Um, as the party <laughs> battles its own demons, literally and <laughs> metaphorically. Um, let's start with Sorry. outros. Uh, let's start with uh, Sir Wellington. I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington, uh, your little raccoonicorn boy who, uh, sorry to the dungeon master, I split the party once again. <laughs> it's okay. They were supposed to go with you, and they didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, party, w party would have been dad. split anyways, so. It's true. I was about to say, yeah, I'm it would have been split. I'm going to save my dad. Che hmm. Okay. Abigail? Yeah. Yeah. My name is I play Abigail. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. She <laughs> lives! Well, she's, she's no longer dying. I wouldn't nope. go as far as to say that she's stable, but she's yeah, as no long longer as, dying. As long as Marcus doesn't notice that she seems to be breathing. That is true. <laughs> and he's kind of just been smacking. Mm -hmm. Who busy with Callie? Mm -hmm. who will not die. Yep. She's amazing. She's just a fucking beast. Well, it's not your turn. We're going to the villain of the hour, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi. I am Matt, play Marcus, the very unintentional, but also kind of happy that it happened. Anakin Skywalker of the group. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Which, I'm not going to lie, I have kind of wanted a hero to villain here. I just didn't think it would be Marcus. I didn't think it would be Marcus either. Of all your characters, I never would have guessed Marcus. But I would have guessed Milo, but Marcus? Milo would have been my first bet. Milo would have been my first bet, but we're going Marcus with this. Marcus is Marcus is the hero to villain character, and holy shoot. Well, he's having a moment. I believe in him. I don't think he's gone full dark side no. just yet. He's having a little... He's feeling... He's having a little silly goofy He's a little mood, con <laughs> but I believe in him. He's having a silly. He's having a silly goose moment. Yeah, he's exactly. just getting all the way into the pond right now. He's just all the way, in, all the way in the pond. With he the is silly in the pond. Moves. His head is down in the water. And yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little murky pond, but you know, it's just the silly goose moment. It's not that we Anakin all get and the younglings. It's Anakin and the sand people. There's still chance after it. Wait, what? <laughs> Anakin and the Sand People. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is Definitely. Anakin trying to kill Ahsoka. You mean ah. Vader trying yeah. to kill Ahsoka? Relax. You oh, yeah. Yeah. That would mean Boy he's Lord. very far gone, though. Boy, Lord. To Boy, Rebels Lord. from 2016? Silence your hole. <laughs> no, this is more... Uh, that no. was eight years ago. Silence if you holes. have not seen Rebels by now, silence your holes. I have not. No, I'm still saying, oh, no, I know what this is. This is episode, this is Empire Strikes Back, uh, Luke versus just, Vader. But instead I just of started Vader watching him, he's killing him. Oh. I just started watching Clone Wars for the first time. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Clone yeah, Wars nice. is so good. They're good. It's rough in the beginning, uh, but I think it's better. It is rough time. in the beginning. They def it's definitely my, Star my Wars. Friend, all the episodes are out of order. My yep. my fr well, my friend is showing them to me in chronological order. I oh, see. Cool. And they're removing so. some of the best parts, like you know, Asajj Ventress kissing clones as she kills them, because Disney's a coward. Yeah. 
Give us the hot uh, evil Callie. Hot lady Disney. Massage <laughs> Ventress. Mm-hmm. Any whore. Hi, I'm so to the internet, and I'm Callie in the Lost Continent. I'm a fucking tank. I love playing tanks, if you haven't noticed. You can catch me also being a tank tomorrow at Legend of Kralith, where we're going to do adventuring things. We're back to adventure. We're done with political warfare. Um, or political discussions. We're back to adventuring. We're going to do some cool shit. Come check it out tomorrow with me, Naz, and our DM, Markham. Uh, Dean Denial has a bunch of games all week. So if you really just want to keep the D&D bug alive, you can come check us out tomorrow with Legend of Kralis. Not D&D, so on TTRPGs, uh, uh, they're punk-based. It's fifth dope as shit. Um, they also have games running on Mondays with the AUN Adventures. Tuesdays have another game. Then there's, I don't think they have anything on Wednesdays just yet. Then there's us on Thursdays, Legend of Kralis back on Friday, and I think they're trying to get weekend games going. So, yeah, weekends we have Moonlight, Matriarchy on Saturdays. Mondays are yep. Iowan Adventures. Tuesdays are State of the Union. Thursdays, us, Lance Continent. And Fridays are, as you said, Legends of Kralis. Yeah, um, so. I got them all memorized now. Fuck yeah, proud of you. So if you want to keep your D&D bug alive, hang out for a while you'll find something you like it's true that a lot of true. good stuff so thank you all for joining us i'm your dm uh gm dungeon lord shenanigan sovereign whatever uh mr markham i look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow uh stay safe stay lost and stay healthy everybody cheerio more or less i can't find the button ah there we go cheerio everybody bye friends goodbye friends